Welcome back to Just Roll With It. My name is Grizzly, and I'm the DM of this wonderful campaign named Reptide, and these are my players. Oh, yeah. my name is Bizzly, and I haven't got a good handle on the swing like Grizzly does, but I play shit. Fuck. I'll be back around. I'll be back around. Hello, my name is Condi, and I play They Jay call Farron. me Grizzly Dick Swang and Plays. They don't. Hey, my name is Slime <laughs> Sickle. <laughs> That's it. That's so, all I got. What did I miss? I feel like, dude, something fucking happened. I, I feel something. like I did. I like pass out on my desk and enter a dream dimension <laughs> when we started this, this <laughs> intro. What is going on? Yo, are we all just having like a shared dream sequence where we're playing just roll with it? If it really is a dream, though, you guys can make me do whatever you want. So let's hear it. Do it back close. <laughs> <laughs> That you confused him. You confused him too many times. I think, you to, I think you need to work on your. Uh, on your Is that what dreaming. you see in your dreams? No. Sorry, <laughs> spinning weirdly. I don't know how this is happening. Where we last left off, the three of you, Chip, Jay, and Gillian, captains. <laughs> All right, if you guys are gonna make noise, you're just, I don't know. I can do no, I muted. I muted. I muted. I didn't realize you could hear me. I muted. <laughs> it's fucking gross, bro. All right, where we last left off, the three of you, Chip, Jay, and Gillian, captains of the Riptide Pirates. Caught up together at the Porthole Tavern, meeting with Gillian's sister, Eden, and hearing out her plea for aid. A request that would put you snooping and sleuthing through Allport's third and highest level, now Raf's headquarters, in search of the location of an artificial leviathan. You agreed to help, of course, went your separate ways, and headed back to your ship to turn in for the night. However, on your way, you discovered old man Earl, stabbed and slumped in an alleyway, only to be immediately ambushed by a lone drow elf wielding blades of purple shadow. <laughs> and with great thanks to Caspian's sword, now loaned to Gilliam. Gillian, are you okay? Yeah, I'm all good. <laughs> <laughs> with great thanks to Caspian's sword, now loaned to Gillian, you easily defended yourselves and sent the assassin running. Leaving behind their sword, cloak, and a message for Chip, Captain Price sends his regards. Unlocking old memories, Chip struggled to give much information about his history with this person. And in the following day, he set out to handle it himself. And so, the journey continues. I like when you say that! Damn, Audio no recap on the secret solo set. Audio listeners, we've been centrally applying chapstick for the entirety <laughs> of Grizzly's recap. <laughs> for you can tell we are respectful players here on the Just Roll of the Show. Too much audio, stick, audio listeners, you're gonna take out your Bluetooth earbuds and find that your ear canals are just full of chapstick. <laughs> They're so, it was, I got too much, man. I got it's too much. It's gone over the radio wave, dude. I I put so much chapstick on that I breathed in and like <laughs> yep. chucked in all the yep. chap I know, I particles. Heard it. Yeah, I, yeah I and now that. I can't even pronounce. I, I can't even pronounce chapstick because I can't. Chap. I don't have enough <laughs> friction to do peas. Chap, chap. I can't chap. do it, bro. I'm running out. <laughs> I, ended up I feel like the fucking it choker. Off. It became a chore after a while. <laughs> All right, so once Chip essentially disappeared, Gillian and Jay spent uh, the night looking for him, spending an ungodly amount of time in bed bolts and beyond. And before you guys kicked out, <laughs> Gil, I just don't started, think he's uh, here. <laughs> before you guys got kicked out and started checking other stores, I'm assuming you had a list of things you wanted to buy. And uh, they did have a list yes. of things they wanted to buy. Ships either getting killed or bitches, and this store's got no bitches, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's in danger? <laughs> did you have that prepared? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, you, that was the so only much. joke that I've prepared for this episode, so everything else will be downhill from here. You guys went into Bed Bolts and Beyond with the intentions to look for Chip, but now uh, at this moment in time, we'll say that we're a little bit, uh, we were starting, started, kind of starting back right as you guys are in the store. Yeah. You kind of have this like wooden basket full of shit, and Ollie runs up and he puts this like small little uh, leather booklet with blank parchment paper inside, and he puts it in. I want this one. 
Yeah, okay. I look down okay? at him like a mom when she catches you slipping something into the shopping cart. <laughs> uh, then he, as soon as he said, "Is that okay?" He just kind of like uh, gently takes it out. Oh no, 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 Sorry. no! That looks good. That looks healthy. Very good. I want to draw in it. And he puts it back in. So uh, I didn't see Chip anywhere. You think he oh, found yeah. the Beyond section? Um, wait, how, you're right. But I, I, you think he was really able to locate the Beyond section? We've been looking for. How long has it been? Days? Four hours, I think. <laughs> it's a, we've only been in the store for a few, like an hour or so. Time Go ahead and roll an investigation. Here. But I did overhear something. And roll investigation with advantage. One of you, just pick oh, one. Oh, uh, 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 go Jay, 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 Jay. I got this. Go. You're a good roller. Natural buddy, twenty. Yeah! What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's real! It's real! It's real! It's real. Oh, what the fuck? Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. It's been seven days since we played in every single one. I've been dreaming about this place. <laughs> so. Oh my god. Um, god, dude. The other dude. You're so lucky, Ollie. Dude, dude the other one was a four. A four, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, this opens up a whole can of worms. Oh my god, yes! Dude, I'm, my heart is palpitating. Please. I'm sorry, Chip. You're you're shedding a luck today. We just found the Beyond section, bro. <laughs> you haven't I'm found so... the Beyond section. But as Ollie was kind of running around the store by himself, and, and Jay, with your keen observation, you as well picked up on a certain mysterious figure walk in while you guys were doing your shopping. A much more uh, obscured and shadowly clothed figure who walks up to uh, 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 one of the owners that you have not spoken to yet, but you assume you're going to be checking out with this person. Um, and it's a, uh, a kind of like a small, very scrawny, pointy-featured gnome. And Ollie overhears that the figure that, was, that looks kind of uh, shady says some sort of words that are arranged... Very I wouldn't. I wouldn't have been able to see this man's this man's mouth while he said and those for you, words. <laughs> because of your investigation check, Ollie's, try, Ollie's trying to tell you. I, I think that I think that he said something, and then uh, the 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 gnome's look was kind of uh, mm, strange, as if he unlocked a secret passageway. And and then you you uh, you at the same time would have seen what he said. Yes, because I have the observant feet and I can read lips. This is genuinely like a fucking once in a lifetime bullshit circumstance that has happened. The planets have aligned and, and shot a celestial beam into Conda Fiction's house where he's rolled a natural 20 and has this feet. Holy fucking shit. Yes. It is a great day today. It really is. Yep. <laughs> Hey, good luck, man. Dude, you're just jealous because we're going to step into fucking aisle nine and spaghettify. <laughs> we die instantly. That's the beyond be, section. That'd be a way to go. It's it literally the great beyond. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. I'll be fine. You guys have fun in the beyond section. We will. We will, dude. You can't dude, guilt you us out of this. No, no, you no, this is actually. You know no, this you know is what the you perfect won't find day. in the beyond section? You know what you won't find? What? Our friendship. You don't know that. You don't know that. I we don't. Do, no, I you can't find you, anything. No, you can't say with certainty that that's true, can you? <laughs> no, I guess not, actually. No. <laughs> so it takes you a minute after you, uh, actually, you, you do it pretty well this time with the natural 20 reading lips. <laughs> oh and the mysterious figure mouths, the Brotherhood of Bolts is black, but our bed is laid beyond. Oh my god. god. One second. I'm writing uh, shit our bro our like Brotherhood of Bolts? Of bolts is black. God, are they gonna butt. find themselves in the movie Robots? Because that would be really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what came after butt? Oh my god, big weld! <laughs> and Ollie's like, I, this, it look like broken sentence to me. I, I don't know if they mean the bolts are black, black, like black steel, like Alphonse, or you like kind of say this out like whisper. Oh my god, <laughs> it's alliteration. This entire place is alliteration. What does that mean? Um, What's alliteration? And <laughs> you are unsure where that uh, like figure disappeared to, but that was uh, that would that would have been a little while ago that this actually oh, I'm happened. Sure. While we were shopping. So with investigation, I mean, you gather that this is the this is some kind of like spoken code or word that yeah. is required to be to access whatever the beyond Jay, section may or Jay, may not be. You don't think. The beyond sections wheel and we can go there. I think I it might be 
<laughs> I strongly suggest you wait for Chip DM's tip. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude. Okay. Strongly we- suggest. <sighs> <sighs> I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna roll a wisdom save. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, okay, I got a I got an 18. I'll wait. Do I'll what wait. you will, but roll I strongly okay. no, no, suggest. No, no, I just, I just, it feels like I'm fighting my balls. Gillian, Gillian, I just I yes, just think true. that Chip Chip would want to be here. You're right. You're right. For the beyond when we, section. When we transcend together into the the beyond realm, <laughs> we should make sure he's here by our side. I am getting kind of worried since. I mean, this has been fun, but I don't... What What if he's in danger? Maybe we could check around the the other places? You think maybe he's back at the ship at this point? I mean... I hope so. It has been a little while. We could... Let's try and go back there first. Um, and after that, just keep looking around. Um, yeah, we take our stuff to check out, I guess. How much is yep. it going to cost us? <laughs> so you meet Mr. Bolton. Mr. Who Bolton. seems to be the <laughs> sort of general store manager and owner, while as there are like other employees such as the big hippopotamus who you haven't gotten the name of who does the blacksmith work, as well as another armorer who doesn't seem to be in today. We know your secret. Um, <laughs> he got it. Mr. Bolton kind of sounds like this. Yes, uh, that'll be um a hundred gold and uh. For your for your stuff, and he points at your your basket of stuff, Gillian. There's around a hundred gold, and uh, um, oh. you miss? Are you together? Uh, Gillian, do you have any money? I uh, <laughs> I turn out my pockets. <laughs> I have fifty five gold. I J, I. So when Earl and Trey were in that fight earlier, and oh, Earl was like, I yes. bet I bet 500 on myself. Well, I don't think I really, in the moment, I was sort of caught up in it and didn't think about how gambling worked because I just gave him 500 of my gold. Listen, you were really like, good as a spectator at one point. So, I mean, like, I think some of it might have rubbed off. Yeah, yeah. Did, okay, listen, I'll cover you, but you owe me. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> Jay, it is, trust me when I say every day, mentally, I am compiling interest. At this point, <laughs> I would die three to four times <laughs> for you before I can accurately repay what you have oh, done. So, oh thank you, God. thank you, my Jay, friend. Jay, go ahead and just add, uh, so total with Jay's stuff and all these booklet, it's going to be about 130 gold. Do you want me to pay for 55 of it? Yeah. Yeah. I'll pay 55. Yeah. You, Here's you all Gillian my money. Put, see Gillian put down this fucking helmet. <laughs> <Ka-dunk. laughs> all right. And you guys can add the things on your shopping list. To your yes. Inventory. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. So Are they all in? Are they all in D&D Beyond? Have a nice day. Mr. Uh, Bolton says this one you guys count the stuff out. that we'd buy other way. Uh, the oh, places, like too. the Barking and Straight. This doesn't. No, because the Divine Barkiness you cannot get through tonight. Um, and for everyone listening, I basically gave them a, a, a list of things without information of what they do or how much they are um, to make shopping a little bit more easier or expedited. So yeah, anything on Divine Barkiness It was Barkiness, really awesome. Though, it was super fun going through that spe- doc, bro. You've spent a while here in the bed about Bolton Beyond and you gather as soon as you guys leave and walk out, Mr. Bolton tells you have a nice night or whatever. Um, it is, it is, it's late. Uh, it's been late. It was late when you got here. It's late now. As soon as you guys leave, you're the last ones to leave, pretty much, and they they close up the front of this uh, fairly large building. And um, unless you say otherwise, I assume you guys just kind of check around the other places of the Golden Circle Market. <clears throat> yeah, I think we yeah. just do one final um, mm-hmm. sort of a uh, uh, circuit and look around before circling back to the boat. But for now, you guys uh, walk around the Golden Circle Market. Uh, you see the buildings I described. Uh, before um, one of these, uh, uh, they're all pretty much closed up by this point. And um, so you pass by the general store, which seems to be kind of tailored towards the Navy. So a raft general store. You guys pass the cathedral and on the opposite side of the cathedral are the, uh, is how you would access the third level, mm-hmm. which is important to know with this like very wide and steep uh, staircase. You pass by the uh, El Gato, which is uh, seems to be a cafe, and there are still cats kind of perusing the outside of the entryway, uh, as well as some in the window. 
but the lights are mostly off with besides like one dim candle um me and Gil just have like tons of fucking bags of just shit we've bought. <laughs> we have so Gil, much I don't know. I just I just don't feel like he's he's been on a shopping spree like us. <laughs> I he could Jay, he could be in any one of these nice family owned outlets. Oh, what about this place? Hang towards. on, let me put on my dread helm. I put on this like large black iron helmet with like these bat wings and my eyes begin to glow this red and like have fire trail. <laughs> you can also determine, I mean like, uh, just like most of the magic items in this campaign, I'll say that it really fits whatever look you're kind of going for. That's funny. As far as like the color of the eyes glowing, but it is this... Dark Souls-esque <laughs> demonly look, carved. Yeah, like, you know like those like Dark Souls bosses knight. that get the red eyes and it like trails yeah, behind yeah, yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. The second I put it on, I start walking like an enemy. <laughs> like I'm just like <laughs> moving through the street. <laughs> it is terrifying. Uh, Jay, I would say you are intimidated without rolling. Holy shit. Okay, um, can we say I sold ah! my chain mail, by the way? Oh, uh, right, right, right. I forgot to mention it, but. I will say you can add 75 gold back to your. Oh my god. I give it to Jay. <laughs> All right. I give Jay 75 gold. Yeah, anyways. Um, yep. You guys don't run into Chip or notice Chip. See him anywhere. Okay, um, yep, I'm getting people. worried at this point. Yeah, I start asking around, hey, have you seen a bastard? You know, this about this high. I actually make him shorter than me. <laughs> about this this tall. A bastard, a little yeah. bit smelly. Um, I mean, you can roll investigation if you'd like. Yeah. I run up to people with the dread helm. Have you seen him? <laughs> you can roll intimidation if you'd like. I'd like to intimidate the information of people. DM, can I get advantage because of psychopath? <laughs> <laughs> For intimidation, yes. Thanks. <laughs> um, because of psychopath. <laughs> what is psychopath? Dude, it's, honestly, it's, it's me charging at people like a Dark oh, Souls enemy. I thought you got dread, a feat called Psychopath. The Dread Helm doesn't even have magical properties, but now that you've said it, I think if you have it on, you just have advantage on fucking. That's funny. Um, I got a, I got a, I got a stinky twenty to intimidate people into telling me where Chip is. Okay, you intimidate. Where is he? There. So the streets are very. Where light. is he? Um, the foot traffic of the streets are light. It is. It is a very quiet and solemn circle market here this late. And anytime you run into someone and you fucking charge them with your uh, dread helm equipped, they mm. most of them scream in terror, <laughs> drop what they're holding, and, and just sprint away, screaming for help. Um, intimidation, success, information, <laughs> failure. Damn, Jay. Splitting yourself off from Gillian for a little bit to avoid the uh, uh, conflict of interest, you ask around, and and <laughs> unfortunately, just because of the light amount of traffic here and the time that has passed, no one recognizes anyone who has the description you are are presenting. Damn. Okay, and, I go back um, to the ship. Yeah. Okay, Gillian, I, I assume. Yeah, absolutely. After scaring the hell out of like fifteen more people. As you guys head down and um, back underneath the hole. Uh, where all the ships are docked. Yeah, Ollie having this kind of like worried, tense look on his face, just holding um, whoever's pinky will allow him to hold as you guys are walking. This must be a bad place at night. No one wants to talk to me at all. Yeah, I wonder why I stare deep into his glowing eyes and like a single bead of sweat just kind of drips down. If you stare for longer than 10 seconds, boss music begins fading in. <laughs> what are you looking at, Jay? <laughs> You're walking down um, the steps because uh, as it is this late, the sort of uh, crank system, or sorry, pulley system Elevator shafts are not being operated. Uh, you walk back down the steps onto the dock, and as you do, uh, drifting near your ship, you would see Chip arriving just about the same time, hopping on to the dock off of a small rowboat, ferried by a grizzled halfling. Hey, uh, oh. thank you. Um, and um, Chip, you wouldn't see your friends at first, but as pretty much as you let it... Let the fairy guy go, he just... And then just kind of uh, sails off into a different water line. 
And then you would see, you guys would kind of meet eye contact. SHIP! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I, I instinctively go running away. <laughs> uh, you you scurly, you hurriedly scurry you up the get fucking- You away this time! time. <laughs> Help! Yeah, so you guys, wanna, you guys meet back up, uh, Chip runs onto the I, deck of the ship. I want to run onto the deck of the ship and climb all the way up to the top of the crow's nest and just like look down. You just look down and you see Gillian uh, fingers like embedded into the wood of the deck. <laughs> <laughs> like just climbing instead of using the rope ladder. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, get off my ship. My, uh, my crew's going to kill you. They're going to be here any second. That is your crew, idiot. Oh yeah, I, I I take off the helmet instantly, <laughs> just like slide back down to the ground. <laughs> Ship, we've been looking for you all day. Is everything okay? God you weren't, it, you weren't in the bed bolts and beyond store. Where were you? Chip! Ollie! You're alive! You're alive! Yeah! They got me a little a notebook to draw in. What? And he That's like shows awesome. it. Here, can I draw something? Yeah. I want to draw like a, try and draw a little boat, but it just ends up looking like a scribble. As he's, so he's he as, he's <laughs> as he's talking to me. As he's talking to me. As he's talking to me. such a terrible <laughs> drawing. It's <laughs> just like fucking pencil flies off the end. Wow. Is that a monkey? No, it's a. <laughs> yes. It's a monkey. You like it? Deception. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I immediately believe it. Well, you don't know what a fucking monkey is. So that's what they look like. Rolled a dirty, stinky 20. I yeah, almost yeah, I rolled a natural 20. That is technically really wanted to the most accurate shit. monkey I've ever seen. Yeah. Have you not seen it any is. monkeys before? No. Oh. Kind of looks like a figure drawing uh, flow sketch of a monkey. So where'd you guys go? Did you, where'd you get the helmet? It's so. terrifying. <laughs> oh, that's my dread this. helm. Dread helm. But we spent Man. three hours in the bed bolts and beyond. It felt like three weeks. Also, where did you go? We ended up back here looking for you and, and got lost. Well, you told me to go and do what I do best, so I did that. And what do you what do you do best? Do you, we still have I actually don't know out. actually what you do best. Um Except for this lie, that, steal, uh, eat hot chip. I did a little lying and a little stealing. I I took care of our problem. Uh we're not gonna get attacked by any assassins anymore. Oh, cool. Do you explode oh, them good, with holy good. light? No, that's what you do best. I, uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, did you steal all their things? Not their things. Um, it's a long story, but it's... It's figured out. It's handled. We're not gonna have to deal with it anymore. <laughs> and, and you just... You thought the right play was to go off on your own and do this without telling us? Jay, I am perfectly capable of handling myself, okay? Okay, and what I did say a long check to point. see how poorly it went. <laughs> <laughs> like how how I, bad? Just like it when went. he says, "I'm perfectly capable of handling myself." Like if he looks like he's at all like injured or like something kind of went rough. He has a bit of like roughed up bruise, like bruise, bruise, like kind of like bludgeoning damage marks. Oh, but he doesn't have any like cuts or anything. Okay. Please There's, don't tell me you got on he's somebody else's worse. shit list to get off. This price guy's shit Um, no, I didn't. Uh, but if if I ever was on his shit list, I definitely am now. But he's, oh. uh, he's gonna be out of commission for a while, at least as long as we're gonna be here. Why not you tell us? Oh, there he right, goes. That's... I agree with, with Ollie. <laughs> I also agree with Ollie. You can't just listen, Chip. I know you're doing what you do best, but if we say we're gonna reconvene and there's also an assassin on our tails, you can't just disappear for three okay, weeks. Look, it was... <laughs> <laughs> Not three weeks. <laughs> Yo, look, buddy. I was in okay. the, wandering the aisles with the helmet on, the darkness consuming the me for, darkness? for 14 days. Buddy, I'm all right. I'm here. I'm safe in one piece. We're fine. <laughs> we found it. <laughs> All right. He's having I insane manic dreams. We need to get him to bed. Okay. <laughs> and I want to put him up over my shoulder and kind of walk him in, but, but turn back to them for a second. It'll be fine, guys. 
Jay, do you think we should mm. like give, sit him down and give him a real talk about why he you shouldn't need to, like, go have and try and... intervention or something? I yeah. feel like we do at this point. I mean, this is really, this is grossly irresponsible. It really is. Maybe? Okay, here's the thing. What if we kind of lay it on him gently and, and do a little team building through this uh, Listen, I, I feel life like, and plans yeah, first? No, I think, yes? yeah, actually, I think we could do multiple things here. I think the joy of of maybe being in the beyond section might oh, actually so right. like counter the awkwardness of approaching him on this situation. That's true. Plus, I think once we're all enlightened anyway, we'll have nothing to hide. If you yeah, if it true. makes sense, you know what I mean. When our when our consciousness uh, melds together in the in the legendary beyond section, oh, I just can't <laughs> wait. Oh shit! By the way, um, <clears throat> I got you these. Uh, I've I've at this point been walking Ollie back to the to the like his where he will sleep, but I'll I'll turn mm -hmm. around. Uh, you, you got what? Uh, I go to present him a thousand ball bearings and immediately slip and drop them all. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Roll a deck save. <laughs> <laughs> I got you these one foul. Oh, Gilly, no! <laughs> I got a nine. Jay, I, Jay mean, slips and I falls. immediately eat shit. Go flying off the edge of the boat. <laughs> hey, dude, you go flying into the water. Oh, I got a 25. I slip into the water anyways. <laughs> nice. No, you the don't. Stop. Stop. You, come on. He comically runs backwards. <laughs> stop. Stop. <laughs> I uh, I don't, don't roll I do if you're just gonna fail anyways. As a bit, I do <laughs> want to beside bit bit outstanding. I do want to give him uh, a bag of one thousand ball bearings, um, as well as uh, a grappling hook. What? You get half a you get half a bag of ball bearings when Gillian. <laughs> you steps five, up. Yeah, you get five hundred ball bearings. You get a grappling hook, uh, and I'm gonna give you a uh, flask of oil as well. Bro, what? That's dangerous. That's dangerous. Yeah, That's dangerous. I, I picked up things that I thought you could use to prank people. So I... A flask of oil? What is he going to do? Set them on fire? Uh, it just seems <laughs> mischievous. These things seem mischievous together in combination in ways that my personally very straightforward holy brain can't imagine. But I'm sure you can think of something. This is the best thing you could have ever given me. And the worst. I am sorry that now 500 of them are in random places on our ship at any given moment that we could sleep <laughs> on. <laughs> That's okay. Just, just like 200 of them. It's no big deal. Adds to the excitement. <laughs> Gillian is never going to get out of bed successfully again, dude. <laughs> if that's all yeah. taken care of. It's nighttime now, right? Very, mm -hmm. very late. Staying up much longer probably Ooh. risks exhaustion. I was just thinking either we could sleep and strike in the morning, which is not really what you want to do, battle strategy. Or we could strike now at night while all of the Navy and Raft are asleep since all of us have had a, a <sighs> nice relaxing day of recuperation. Yeah, we could strike today. <sighs> I'm up for it. Let's go. Jay, you good for it? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, can I'm, ready. I'm ready to sneak in places and steal things or something. I'm still not entirely clear. Let me just uh, check on Ollie and make sure he's he's sleeping all right, and then we'll go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just uh, we'll give you five. Okay. I walk in <laughs> and I fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wait for you... him and I fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Jay doesn't just... sleep. <laughs> Jay, take she a point of exhaustion. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> um. So are you guys actually going to sleep or did you yes, just want to I want to I thought it would be really funny if like I was taking Ollie to bed and I set him on the ground and I take his bed. <laughs> <laughs> I am um, my exhaustion. I'm down for this. Do you how bad is Chip like actually looking? Do you actually need a long rest? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Oh, all right. Yeah. Let's yeah, yes. let's let's do it then and then um we can we can get these guys in the morning. Long rest yourselves as you guys sleep for the night. Nobody keeps watch I assume. Nah, fuck it. Nah, Chip took care of it. It's fine. Yeah, Chip took care of it. It's fine. He said he took care of it. We're You're fine. right. I'm putting, I'm putting Chip right. took care yeah. of it in my notes. I have no reason not to trust him. Yeah. Surely. You guys all fall asleep after a, a, a day of just... <laughs> for Gillian and Jay, mundane activity. But for Chip, well, a little bit more of a uh, an adventure, I suppose. But the next morning comes without fail. And... Um, Good no morning! Nick ups, no hiccups throughout the night. Chip, what? 
You remember the ball? This was just a thing we talked about. Oh, man, I just thought he just fell. I was so confused. Ming! Chip, you're woken up in the morning as your head is kind of kicked by a small uh, leather, well, not leather boot, but leathery foot as uh, Old Man Ertl is kind of standing above you. Once your uh, eyes like crack open here in this morning, kicking your temple with his big toe. Hey. Oh, oh, that's my Get temple. Get the fuck up. Morning. Here's some juice. Here's some juice. Take the fucking juice. Okay, thank you. Get thank the you fuck so much, up. Earl. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. thank you. thank you. Earl. Take thank the you so fucking much. juice. I'm Stupid taking the juice. Shit. I take the juice from his fucking hand. Thank yeah, you so much, Earl. You are just a ray of sunshine. He's already gone. He's and already I love gone. you just, so much. He's I don't all, care if he's, he's gone. He, I love you so much. <laughs> and you're just such a nice person to have around. And I hope nothing bad ever befalls you. Like oil <laughs> in your bed or in your walking area. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> as uh, as you guys, Jay and Gillian, as you guys are coming up from below deck and you're... Your quarters, you actually will meet old man Earl as well as he's carrying two more juice glasses. He goes, hey, hey, take the juice. Hey. Okay, uh, oh, uh, 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 sure. Hey. I mean, actually, I, I actually am already all, all lick my liquid bladder is all good. Drank a lot of water juice this up. morning. Drink it so I, oh, juice up. <laughs> oh, stop. Juice up. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's what, right. What, what fruit is that? Wow. Picked it up somewhere in the city. It's all that matters. Refilled my juice. They may have stolen everything else I had, but they didn't steal my fruit. That's goddamn right. How are you holding up, by the way, old man Earl? Eh. He just kind of walks away at this point. <laughs> yeah, you were like stabbed and beaten and uh, poisoned. Can I do just like a quick, like, uh, like, <laughs> like a peek? <laughs> are you dying of poison? <laughs> eh, whatever. Yeah, I mean, medicine <laughs> or insight? What do you think? Okay, okay. Um, I guess I'll do, I'll do medicine. Yeah, sure. Uh, 16. Wow, that's pretty good for me. Uh, you cured the poison. Cool. He did suffer damage, which is why he was sort of uh, resting, but it seems that he is just kind of wobbling. Cool. Well, He's fine. Uh, he looks, you he looks you take it easy. But, but all of you, after drinking Old Man Earl's juice this fine morning for breakfast, uh, a little bit later in the morning here, you all gain for the day oh. a luck point. What? Luck point? So, should any of you want to re-roll, an attack roll, a whatever roll, a saving throw, you can choose to do so after the roll, but you must use the next, the second roll. Oh, this is awesome, bro. <sighs> Dude, One time today. Our Lucky juicer. juice. Our juicer. I'm feeling juiced, Jay. Are you feeling juiced? I'm feeling juiced. Ugh. And with that, the day's yours, Riptide Pirates. What you gonna fucking do? What's the plan? What's your goals? <laughs> Where are you going? I'm juiced. I'm juiced. I gotta work out. I gotta work juiced. out. Juiced. All right, oh, hit shit. the deck. You do work out. Bro, athletics. Okay. We need to get moving. This has been 13. so fun. Come on. All right, that's it. That's 13. it. I got a 13. We're done with it. I, All right, you get winded about 70 sit-ups in. I walk out and Gillian's doing push-ups really fast and I like I'm stepping towards him. I step on his back for a minute and stand there drinking my juice still. <laughs> keeps going. And he just same keeps pace. going that's and then awesome. I step off and continue walking. He goes even faster. <laughs> After adjusting like, oh, to the weight. Lift it. So about um, the Leviathan, or fake Leviathan? Oh, yeah. Artificial um, Leviathan. Artificial Leviathan. Um, you. Do you think night is worth waiting for, or do we just go for it? Uh, you're the uh, sneaky peeky guy. What do you think? Mm. Well, okay, are we sneaking in as grandma and her grandchildren? I think Gillian is probably the loudest person I've ever seen try to sneak, so hiding in plain sight might be a better idea. Grandma Gill, okay. I think, is our best play. Daytime it is. Okay, just, I, you know, I can't really... I don't do lying, so... No, you're not acting. You're you're acting. Again, you're acting. You are playing the part, bringing Grandma Gillian to life. It is See, your you're destiny. Not, you're not lying. Grandma's <laughs> lying. <laughs> oh... It's Chip, in her this character. Is a, this, Chip, this is a problem now that you found the enabling phrase. <laughs> All right, dress me up. <laughs> sure, yeah, I mean, you can dress him up as a grandma if you a grandma if you wish, but uh, performance check to see how well you do. Okay. Um, it is your destiny. Oh, I know, because I got a 24. Can I, can I give him... Uh, yeah, so you get an extra d4. You look like an old fish grandma. The, uh, uh, I mean, yeah, he looks just like a fish grandma. It's kind of hard to hide the fish, like the fish features, <laughs> like the ears. 
but you do your best with the uh uh with the like this wig that you've been ho carrying around okay. for a while now <laughs> i want to give him some some yellow glasses uh with like that the, the blue the SpongeBob glass grandma. it's the spongebob <laughs> grandma and like they they come out like all pointy and go back i want to i want to make sure his lips look like they're cracked around the edges and he's got no have chapstick this, on those bad this ones. white no hair chapstick. coming back with the little bun um he, he's got got like the, the the grandma arms a lot of wrinkles trying to make sure all of his skin looks wrinkly and to cover up his armor we kind of make him look a little a little like chubbier around the neck area actually take away his neck entirely it's just one column and and he's got a, a purple like dress with frills around the neck oh my God. and the arms and uh it's like a light purple dress with dark purple dots all over it and that should cover up your large armor um i just we... love the idea that if the grandma ripped off the blouse it'd just be like oh it's like armor and weaponry <laughs> armor. <laughs> <laughs> and it, but the thing is, I want Gillian to have these tiny uh, high heels, yellow and Holy beautiful, shit. with his with his large fish feet in them. Incredible. Okay. Yeah, bet. I'm also I'm not wearing like the big plate armor today. I'm wearing just like some uh, like a kind of just like chainmail uh, okay. sort of shirt under everything to make this a little easier for us. This is basically like art. <laughs> I have a... so good at grandma cosplay. Chip, I, Chip, I feel like if I move, I'll ruin it. I need a cane. I need a cane to make sure I don't okay, move too okay, much. Okay, okay, Earl, do you have a cane? You're old. No response, no sight of Earl. Where's Earl? Um, I don't know. He just gave us juice and left. Okay. Um, I want to go gonna... to the, the side of the ship and just kind of, you know how we have the, the side and, and there's those little, um, I don't know what you would call that. Um... Like a large plank of wood on top and plank of wood on the bottom and the little the ones that go up. Yeah, like the railing, but I can pull like off the... a little piece of it. Yeah, and, you can do that. And give it's it to small. Gillian. Yeah. That's okay. He can be hunched all the way over. Okay, my little guppies. The Navy awaits. I just start like hobbling up towards it. <laughs> <laughs> all you right, guys grandma. Your ships, you have to hobble down I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold grandma's and... hand as we walk along towards the navy. Well, I don't know what the plan is, but here we go. Okay, um, you are so uh, sweet we. to me. <laughs> you guys, uh, Jay, should I try like a ways. voice? Should I try a voice or something? Yeah, try to like make it softer. Can you do a softer voice? <sighs> What's that? <laughs> Oh. That's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> that is actually perfect, Gillian. You sound just like my grandma. <laughs> no, I just, I think it just I think it fly flew the way through. Do you guys leave yeah, behind Ollie? Yes, yes. I don't think it's safe to have him. Yeah. It was so hard to walk in the heat. So <laughs> All right, you guys wobble. You guys that. hobble and wobble your way up back to the Golden Circle Market. Did you do anything else besides pick up uh, Gail, uh, Gillian's plate mail? I left my rope. I want to grab my rope. Okay, yeah. Uh, did you do that? Trying to hide it from Gillian and Jay, or you just kind of... No. Uh, you walked uh, kind of down the east uh, side of this uh, golden circle market, down the down the path, and uh, you guys <laughs> get to the staircase that I described earlier that's wide and very steep that leads up to the third level um, of this, uh, of Allport, the highest point in the city. Sort of supported by this, like, very thick and heavy wood that makes the cylinder tower that almost lifts up and then you can see that there is a, a very high up uh going up the steps you can see that there's buildings and one large dome like building but where you guys do or you guys kind of follow chip walk past the temple of the sun god uh and down to uh the edge of this sort of level and see that chip has dangled <laughs> and and sort of uh, hung a rope that leads into the dark port which is this really gray monochrome um, looking uh, suburb or barnacle as they're called here. Mm -hmm. And he just kind of takes a minute, 50 feet of rope, rolls it back up. You guys acquire that. Who's that? All, all of us there? What? Oh, I'm just grabbing the rope. Oh yeah, the rope. Yeah, the rope. No, you want to head in? I think I <laughs> lost it. I think I lost the old, I think I lost it. That's okay. You I'm gonna, can just be I'm gonna a, keep. A, I'm gonna keep. Here, I'll keep working on it. You take the lead ship. I'm gonna keep working on it. Okay. Now, why would the navy uh, let a grandma in? 
feel um, like maybe that should have been the first thing we mm -hmm. figured out. Oh well, we'll we'll get it's our destiny. We okay. got this. No, 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 no. Okay. What if what if the, the uh, Jay, do you know the name of a captain up there? Maybe this is his grandma and we're just escorting her up to see him. The only navy I know is really my family. God damn it. You see sort of flanking both sides of the staircase. Um and I, I will say that though most of the most of Allport, especially the hull here, is built with this uh, almost antique looking dark rich wood or rich dark wood. Um, this third level is more mixed with steel. Mm. Uh, almost, uh, oh, again, cool. it looks fairly new as if kind of reinforced and fortified and sort of guarding entryway to the mm -hmm. steps that lead up to the third level are uh, two Navy soldiers. They are keeping very close eyes on who is going up and uh, who is coming out. And you see okay. that there is like on the left side, there's Navy soldiers coming down that are kind of like walking around the circuit, the Golden Circuit Market. And there's very aristocratic people who are only allowed entry after speaking to the guards. Mm. Okay, what's your idea, listen. Jay? All right, if it all Chip. goes south, I'll fall down the stairs. Chip. Let me know. Grandma, listen, if anybody asks, you're a part of B.I.G. Technologies, okay? And we're working on the Leviathan Project. Why would a grandma be in a tech startup? It's bring your grandma. It's bring your grandma to work day. <laughs> Jay, that makes perfect sense. And no, hey, it doesn't. I tap her on the shoulder. It's your destiny to sell this. I'm gonna give her a uh, give her guidance <laughs> and uh, just hang back as this all goes to shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you giving uh, guidance? Uh, uh, Jay, because she's I think the lead in the cell here. Okay. EIG Technologies. Well, we're just gonna walk up the stairs. If they don't talk to us, they You're, don't talk to us. We're gonna make Grizzly no, develop I mean, a Twitch, guys, if we oh keep doing shit like this. As, if you try and walk up the stairs, you do get stopped immediately. Yeah. One of the guards holds uh, holds his hand in front of you. I don't know what business you have going up there, but if you're just a commoner, or worse, a pirate. <laughs> he stares at you, like, really, really sternly. I stare at him back, completely calm, maintaining composure. Why would it be a pirate? You're not allowed up without clearance. Blue oh, we have an appointment up. actually. Um, we're actually part of a uh, battle integrated giants technologies. Um, <laughs> we we have a project that we're supposed to be working on up here. Um, and they're actually and expecting her, us here soon. And I'm her grandma. <laughs> and this is my grandma actually. <laughs> it's bring your grandma to work day. Um, you know, I figured I'd give her a little bit of a tour. She's <laughs> she's. You know, she's on her way out. <laughs> I figured I could maybe give her a, a nice few final days um, before she leaves this this planet, <laughs> the great the great planet of Mana. <laughs> I fall down the stairs. <laughs> no! You fall here what? <laughs> as soon as she says that, I want to make this like as look as urgent as possible, so I just start falling down the stairs. <laughs> you're not up the stairs yet. Wait, we're not. Oh, shit. Thought... No, you're at the base of the stairs. Okay, I fall over. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Okay. <laughs> he looks oh! at you very sternly. Watches Gillian fall over. <laughs> You can make deception <laughs> no advantage. Okay. Um, you're doing it a d4. You're doing it a d4. Okay, can, I, can I use one of my charges on my uh, oh, ring of God. certainty to find out what the DC is for this? Uh, yes, you can. Awesome. What's the and, DC uh, like? Actually, I mean, the DC is... This is like one of our worst plans <laughs> probably <laughs> ever. I know. <laughs> that's, right. that's, that's, <laughs> I wanted to go in it with a terrible plan. <laughs> it's really bad, dude. The, the DC for this is going to be 20. Oh. I'm going to use inspiration on that one and re -roll. <laughs> No, not inspiration. Um, uh, no, he, still, he still had an inspiration, I think. I still have an inspiration. Does if inspiration you, do, if you, you really want to use this on this, bro... All right. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. That's my, that's my luck roll. Um, <laughs> Do they okay. have anything that they look like they might miss if it was taken from them? The guards? The guards. The guards. Are they holding anything in particular? Do they have anything? Um, They have weapons. What kind of weapons? Well, let me, I gave you that first. This is the response okay. to Jay. We got one at a time, bro. 
Okay. Jesus. <laughs> don't forget to, don't forget that D4 in case it takes us from instantly killed to uh suspicious territory. Oh right, right, right. <laughs> Let me add that D4. That's what I'm hoping. All I'm hoping right now is it saves us from instantly 11. being executed. So it's Woo! eleven now. Eleven! <laughs> he just looks at you, Jay, very sternly watches Grandma Gillian fall over like I said and goes Grandma! No. Without a form of approval or a badge of identification. Nobody's allowed up these steps. Return to your day. Grandma. <laughs> it's her, it's her liver cancer. It just looks forward once again. You, Chip, you're looking for whatever they're holding. Um, this specific one has like a, a kind of like silver ornate rapier at his hip, as well as uh, two pistols kind of strapped to the thigh, almost like a, 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 like a like parallel to each other. Okay. And uh, the other one is... Well, a bit more like like larger in stature and has this really uh, beautifully uh, designed, I want to say, like a very silver stainless steel kind of metal the hammer that is large, almost as tall as he is. And he doesn't have um, any but kind it, of guns? Not that one, no. As this is happening, I'm standing very straight, just kind of look, looking at, at them as, as Grandma Gill has fallen over and Jay is tending to her... Uh, <laughs> I can't made up, up wounds. Um, and then after Go a moment of silence, I want to grab the guns. What are and, you doing? And I want to say, got your guns. And I want to run. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to try. I want to try and entice him Dude, to chase me. How are you alive? How did sleight you make hand. it back to us? Okay. Sleight of hand is going to be oh a God. 23. This I want to try and take the guns uh, and, and run and, and try and get them to chase me if possible. As I'm running away, uh, okay. I want to shoot them up in the air. Both. Okay, Chip. Hey, come and get me. <laughs> I'm a criminal. I'm a dirty pirate. <laughs> Woo. And I, as I'm doing that, I look over at Jay and give her a wink. You immediately grab the two guns that are strapped to his thigh with expert dex uh, with expert hands of dexterity. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> you grab the pistols and you start waving them up there and you start running. Um, but you are with Jay and his grandma and um, uh, the soldier that you just stole from points towards uh, uh, to the other soldier who is like with him, the much bigger one, and points to at Hugh and says, "Apprehend him!" Oh shit. And that guy, like, like swings his giant hammer, and you just hear charging after you. Um, I don't know where you're going or what you guys are going to do. I'm going away <laughs> from them. Great. Uh, as soon as that happens, I'm going to, as you, his you grandma... Look over, the guy who was in, in front of the steps, I mean, he looks at you guys like he's about to do something because you guys are with him. Yeah, I'm still, like, on the ground, and the second he moves his attention off me, I rise to my feet, grab his mouth, and drag him into an alley. <laughs> <laughs> the soldier? <laughs> Wait, okay, so not the one that's chasing Chip? The one that's <laughs> remaining in the stairs. The other one? The other one? <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> what is roll, this? Roll, roll strength, roll strength. Uh, contest the strength. Oh for grappling. Wouldn't this be wouldn't this be athletics for a grapple? It's a grapple check. It's contested. Yeah. Oh my god. It's your athletics left. versus his acrobatics or athletics. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Cool, cool, cool. Uh 22. Oh my god, you're I'm I'm really glad you rolled high, because he rolled very high as well. Um you beat him, you made you you're able to grapple him, put his hand over his mouth. He is to grapple it so he can't like do any attacks at the moment. Um or I guess he could, but it doesn't let's just roll in this joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay. 14. 7. 11. Actual chaos. You're not even at the headquarters yet. You're just at the steps. <laughs> this sucks, man. <laughs> this is, I was, I was like one second away from from being like, look at okay, this. Okay, you thing. gotta be honest though. This is really fucking this funny. Is, it's, <laughs> it's something alright. Um... So we'll start off at the top of the round with Jay. Jay, what are you doing? As Gillian grabs this soldier and he's sort of trying to duck around the staircase. Uh, you know, like the edge of the staircase where it kind of goes up and it creates that, that angular triangle wall. Uh, he's trying to like duck around and like move into the like the cracks uh, between like the buildings. Jay, that are our going glorious around. battle shall take place in this small alley. 
One second. It's basically me... that 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 gap in between the the, the steep staircase <sighs> and the buildings that are sort of clinging on to that uh, cylindrical tower that the staircase leads up to. You know what I mean? There's like the gap mm -hmm. in between those buildings. You are just trying to you grab him and you're trying to go around the staircase and like and bring him like behind one of the buildings. I assume. <laughs> Uh, so Jay, what are you doing? Okay, I guess Chip we're is getting this chased bitch out. by a. <laughs> okay, what do you... all right, all right, roll to roll to whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. roll to knock a bitch out. I, I don't know what the roll is for that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, we uh, can just I'm do gonna... non-lethal damage, I think, right? Yeah, yep. I'm gonna use the smash browns. <laughs> oh, dude, <laughs> this is hell! Oh my god. You pop a smash brown. You follow Gillian into the uh, uh, little crevice. I need both of you to roll stealth, by the way. Oh, cool. Absolutely. I can have two. <laughs> We are not subtle. <laughs> oh, we're All fucked. Right. We're, we're fucked. fucked. We're fucked. <clears throat> All right. So, what do you, Smash Browns? What are you doing? Roll the hit. Uh, Smash Browns, and I smack him in the face with my bow. That's gonna be twenty. <laughs> that hits. Or maybe, maybe seventeen, actually, because I don't think I have proficiency with. It's you're good. Cool. I'm doing four damage. <laughs> All right. Nice. <laughs> Guy takes four damage. He um. <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, you just kind of crank back, smack his face with the uh. And one more oh. hit. <laughs> for the, for right, the go for it, Charlie. Oh, uh, that's gonna be twenty-one. <laughs> this will be the time we finally get arrested. This will oh, be. Oh, if there was ever, great. it would be now. I do seven one. damage on that one. <laughs> I feel it, boys. This is the one. Okay, so yeah, eleven damage to this guard. Total. All right. Yep. He, uh, I mean, he is, his eye immediately kind of swells up if he, as you beat the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah, he, he's starting to slur, uh, uh, the, like, the eye's motion is starting to kind of, like, blur and, and, and swirl, but he's still, up, uh, still awake. Chip, as you gain the attention of this beast of a oh, fucking God. barbaric hammer g navy soldier, uh, go ahead and roll... I guess acrobatics or athletics as he tries to grapple you. Is he, would he be, I'm running away actively. Would he have been able to get that opportunity to to grapple me? Is he in range to do this? Well, he went, because he got before you, he basically, yes, he used his movement okay. to get to you and then he's gonna go for a grapple. As soon as you so, took off, he took off with you. So uh, I'm gonna use luck point to not oh, have a natural man. one. Okay, 17. 17. Roll again. You guys tied. Oh my god. I'm changing my name in, to Grand Million, by the way. In the Grand Fuck! Million. 12! Bro, he beat you by two this time. Oh! <laughs> so you end up grappled as he tries to grab you and and, uh, and restrain you, but you are grappled now. Okay, I'm trying to get ungrappled. Grappled. Can you use your action to break the grapple? Yes. Alright, go for it. Roll again. Okay. I think it's a different roll when you're breaking the grapple. Oh, fuck. Uh, it's athletics or acrobatics. To yeah. break your grapple? Seven. Yeah, 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 he keeps rolling just a little bit higher than you. Next up, Gillian. The last thing you shall see is blinding light before you are cast into eternal darkness. I'm going to uh, <laughs> attack him non-lethally with the golden <laughs> lotus. <laughs> All right, go for it. Roll to hit. All right. First one's with advantage. Uh, 22 to hit on the first thing. Second is going to be a 20 to hit. They both hit. All right, he is going to take, uh, I'm gonna hit him with the, uh, yeah, let's see. So it's gonna do, and it's all non-lethal. Yeah, he takes 21. All right, 21 damage is more than enough. Uh, with the help of Jay, you guys successfully knock out this guard. However, due to your very unsubtle <laughs> nature. <laughs> what? <Yeah? laughs> what? This is just what grandmas do. Like I said before, some of the guards who had or soldiers, not guards, sorry, I keep saying guards. Some of the soldiers who were walking down the steps coming oh, from the third shit. level had taken notice of you immediately grabbing one of the uh, um, the soldiers that were guarding. Uh -huh. And there are citizens who are like pointing in your direction <laughs> at the soldiers. <laughs> and trying to get their as attention. his grandma's just pulling this person into the shadows. <laughs> yeah, so uh, <laughs> you gather, you're about to have even more of a problem. Since this guy's out, is there anywhere in this alley I can move to, or is it just a dead end? It would be right. In, it would be a tight crevice, right between um, this, like I said, the cylindrical wall that holds up the third level and one of the buildings that is kind of like built around it. So, is there any way out of that, or no? Besides just coming back out? Yes, but it would technically be considered a rough terrain. You'd be going around the back of this building in that small crevice. 
<laughs> so you'd be moving at like half speed to like squeeze yourself through. That's what I'd say. Gillian, we need to break line of sight. <laughs> I agree. I start squeezing through the, the thing. Okay. So, so I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna your... drop him and use my movement to do that. Yep. yep. Actually, I'm gonna. Right. Can I? Can I? Oh fuck. Uh, see so if you've got any like keys or anything. I start uh, <laughs> like going into the crevice. Anyways, next up, Jay. You see there are two uh, guards who stand at the side. At the end, like where you guys came in through the alley, kind of blocking your exit here. Besides where Gillian's going, um, one of them's gonna take out what his uh, his uh, his his pistol and shoot it at you. Oh motherfucker! <laughs> I don't want to get ahead. shot. Uh, that does it. I wait, wait, wait. I I use my reaction and cast shield. <laughs> Doesn't hit. Fuck you. Hey! All right, what's that look like? Um, shit. Yeah, I just look at him, stare him down the eyes. My hand goes up, and then it's almost like this hexagonal, like, blue pattern uh, oh, appears cool. in front of my hands, and it stops the bullet. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Bullet time. Anyways. Uh, so, so my armor class is 19 for one round now. This round, yep. For this uh, round, you, yeah. you cast shield, and both of the, the soldiers who shoot at you, since both of them do, both miss. One of them you block with the magic, and the, the like, the arcane force or whatever, <laughs> and uh, the other one just hits the wall behind you. Uh, then next up is your turn. Okay. Um, would you allow it to be a bonus action to search for keys on this guard's body? Uh, you can roll investigation. 15. I'll allow a bonus action. Okay. What kind of keys are you looking for? Just like, if he has a key ring, I'll just take them all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, this guard doesn't have any sort of key rings. He does have uh, what seems to be like a, an insignia. I'll yoink it. Seems all important. Right. Um, and right. then uh, I'm gonna move towards where Gillian was. And yep. run hey, over there. Did we did we get like less capable? I feel like we were better I feel than like this. We became less capable. Anyways, um, I I cast pass without a trace Ooh, as I get closer nice. to Gillian. What does that give us? Um, plus ten to stealth checks, and Holy basically fuck. they just nice. cannot. Basically, they can't detect. A veil shadows and silence radiates from you, masking you and your companions from detection. It's basically like we have camo. Cool. Um, That's fine. And it is an action to hide. I will use an action next turn. I, I imagine I get about halfway, like Gilly did. Or... Yep. Yeah. Grand, uh, grand right. million. Next up is the uh, hulking guard or soldier that is uh, currently grappling Chip. Let me this is just. Such a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like trying to figure out how we get out of this and like be clean. How much did you kill me for? I just I guess it's just a dexterity check. Uh, I have disadvantage on deck saves. I looked up, uh, is it a save or a check? Because I looked it up. I have disadvantage. Why do you have disadvantage? disadvantage? Oh, because you're de grappled? On deck save when I'm grappled. So it's de it's just a dexterity check. Just okay. a normal check. Straight straight decks. Okay. Straight decks. Five. Dude, we are rolling so bad today. Oh my god. You feel the steel wrap around your wrists as you are now cuffed oh, with uh, no, these no. like golden That's manacles. Happening. Oh shit. This is good. This is a great day. <laughs> yes. Great day. So <laughs> when you are cuffed by manacles, essentially, uh, which is what they're calling DD, we're just going to call them handcuffs from here on out. Um, if anyone could get out of it, it's Chip, right? You're right. restrained. I think that's what happens, right? You're restrained. That, that makes sense. I had one more idea and then I get arrested. Okay, so my hands are behind my back, right? Mm -hmm. I'm restrained. I would like to try and reach for the... Oh, fuck. Are you going to say what I think you're going to say? I, was, I wanted to use the grappling hook. Oh. In what some the way. No. In my that was, mind... That was like you just clicked yeah. the like wrong button in a choose your own adventure yeah, game in for my me. Mind, that was that feeling that just evoked. In I my thought you were going to use the oil. Like a, in my mind, it was like a grappling gun. I don't know why. Okay, um... The oil, though. That's metagame. I can't use that. Um, I give you uh, d d 15 more seconds. What the fuck, man? Okay, I guess I try and get out again. I try and <laughs> wriggle away. <laughs> You're in a bad situation, you cheapo. From the gravel, right? Maybe we should be more worried about him when he's with us. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go ahead and make your uh, I just feel like we all made really terrible like choices today. I uh, actually, <laughs> I didn't. I just sat back and watched everything go to shit. It was very fun. <laughs> I just wanted to do a bad 16. plan and see if it worked. I rolled okay. terribly. <laughs> Acrobatics versus uh, for the first time you're able to break free of his grasp, although still um, restrained by the. The handcuffs. All if right. you're able to break free, you can, you can, yeah. All right, where are you running? I want to kind of like, like as I'm running with my hands behind my back, do a jump and and like almost jump rope my own hands and hold them in the front and go running. 
Yes. <laughs> um, I want to try and get some kind of height. I will grab out the uh, the grappling hook if I can as a bonus action to to like kind of get some height advantage here. Yeah, it's just getting it out is kind of the hard part. Um, um, I'm gonna say anything that you do with your hands is gonna be a disadvantage. Okay. I should have just hid. Why did I do this? <laughs> you know, I actually can't answer that. No, I don't. I thought it, I wanted to use it because you gave it to me. Just roll it, Dex. This will be your action. Hey, listen, man, it. that's beautiful, but it doesn't help you just if you're roll. arrested. I don't, I don't have. I don't have an action. I used my action to get out. That's right. I'm sorry, bro. You can't throw this. Good. Wait, I shouldn't wait. be able to. Don't uh, don't rogues have a thing where they can use hide as a bonus action? Yes. yes. And I'm gonna. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna. You can do it, bro. Object, it's fine. Object interaction. Ball bearings. Can I do that, please? <laughs> I want to use uh, something he gave me. When has when have ball bearings ever gone right? Ball bearings are an action. action. Ball bearings are an action. Bah! Use them. Just use your fucking bonus action, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not metagaming. No, you can read it on your sheet. I need to use things that he gave me. I'm gonna keep running. All right. I'm gonna continue your to chase. Are, yeah. Okay. Jeez. What direction are you going? Away. I don't know. If we're on the All right. just the other direction okay. from this lumbering man. Here's what I'm gonna do. Help us. <laughs> um I have plus ten to stealth. I am going to cast enhance ability. Uh, and use helping hands to cast it on myself and on Jay to give us advantage on dexterity checks, including stealth. Uh, and I'm going to say, um, <laughs> uh, stealth of sea slug. <laughs> and, we, and we both just like kind of grow these like weird no, little no. fucking globules on us and start to blend no. in with, the, with our environment a little. Um, and then I'm going to use my... Let me get rid of that slot. Uh, and then I'm going to use the rest of my movement um, to get through the rest of this crevice and kind of dip behind that corner and wait for Jay. Mm -hmm. All right, you're able to do that. That's it. I just, like we, we both, we shoes. both look, <laughs> Jay, that's how sea slugs speak. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, we just both become sea slugs and then I uh, disgustingly worm my way past her and out of the crevice. Jay, mm -hmm. you can hear with your uh, observant. By the way, you need to re-put your observant feet back on your sheet. Yeah, I don't know why that there. isn't there. Uh, um, but with your good. passive perception, you're able to hear one of the guards yell, Go around the other side! Go around mm. the other side! And then uh, one of them actually comes and starts to run down this little crevice as well. And you can see his head peek out, and, like looking in between where you're hiding. He isn't able to see Gillian, but he is able to see you. Of course, yeah. What's your AC? Uh... Would my would my shield still be up from last round or no? Like would that be uh, no, one no, full no. round? Okay, no. no. Then uh, it's fourteen. Okay, so I rolled a fifteen. Fifteen definitely hits. Fifteen definitely hits. Yeah, I'll just take these hits, whatever. <laughs> Kabam! As you get shot in the shoulder or something, oh, grazes your skin and uh, fly and the the bullet kind of like flies past you, um, and you hear him yell, "Get back here, scum!" Oh my god, I have an insane idea. Get over here. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then you uh, would see, uh, as well with his movement, he kind of disappears by, uh, like, he doesn't, like, follow you through the crevice. His head, like, disappears. Okay. From sight. Uh, next up, Jay, what are you doing? Uh, I keep, I get through the, the rest of this crevice, and then I'm going to use the hide action. So go ahead and roll self. Um, so that's going to be 24 on stealth. Okay, excellent. All right, after your turn, Jay is going to be... Oh, uh, Chibo, you're still being chased. What did you do again, Chibo? Run. You ran. All right. I will say you have two directions you can run right now. You can either run back the way you came, which is towards the like southern part of the Golden Sticker Market, or you can run towards the northern part, which is away from where you came. Oh. Or you can run towards the edge, which is pretty okay. much around the area <clears throat> you jumped into dark. I, I am already running in a specific direction. The guy is behind me, correct? Oh, you guys were... Okay, I, I get what you're saying. Now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you were running east, so towards the edge of the I, Golden Circle Market. I, towards where you laid the rope down. Keep going east. What's your movement speed? 30. I'm he assuming can, you use the can, whole thing? He can dash bonus action and the guard can't. Is the I, don't think, I don't think he dash. I don't think I he bonus action dash. didn't. Dashed. Oh. Okay. Do that. So he's gonna go I, strike I, with this big lawyer, silver metal I'm hammer. A lawyer losing in court. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? We interrupt your stair climbing session 
to talk to you about our sponsor for this episode. Honey, you ever been shopping online and been like, ah oh, man, I wish this pizza costed one or two dollars, maybe five dollars less. Well, Honey's got you covered. Honey's a free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. It supports tons of different stores online, so you can almost use it on anything. I honestly use it a lot when I'm ordering food, and honestly, it saves me so much money over time. So if you don't have Honey installed, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds, and by getting it, you're doing yourself a solid and supporting the podcast. You can get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash jrwi. That was joinhoney.com slash jrwi. Thank you again to Honey for sponsoring this episode. Uh, that's gonna be a 16 to hit. I'm sorry. Does a 16 hit? Um, yeah, it does. <laughs> you take 14 points of, pl- points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> <sighs> As you are striked on the shoulder, like in the back, sending you a little bit forward, um, <laughs> uh, but not like like too far, and uh, you can feel the the your scapula, fucking crack. I think the scapula is in the front, but that's how hard it hit. Okay, I would Still like cuffed. to. As I'm running, cuffed, kind of g- get stabbed for a second. Uh, uh, I want to pull out the ball bearings. I want to turn around, still running kind of backwards for a second, and just spread them along the ground, and then, and okay. then <laughs> drop the bag and give him a both hand salute and continue running. Uh, and this okay. time I will bonus action dash away. That's my little rogue. Okay, <laughs> with so your bonus action you. dash, you're able to get to the edge of uh, the like this level, the Golden Circle Market, where you can look out towards. Um, Basically, have the C and the two barnacles on the left and right of this specific okay. water lane. You're looking I towards. Wanna, I got something I would want to do, uh, and on my next turn if I get one. So that's, <laughs> but that's the, that's all I can do right now. All right, so you lay down the ball bearings, um, and we'll get back to that. He kind of yells out to you, "You're not gonna get away from me!" Gillian, uh, Grand Million. Gonna- I'm gonna Grand tear off my million. clothes. I'm gonna tear off my grandma clothes and uh, align them uh, along into a storm drain so it looks like she turned into sludge. And then I'm going to uh, move <laughs> behind a, a dumpster or dive into a dumpster uh, as my sea slug appendages uh, begin to turn into that color as I'm behind cover as well. So I'm essentially taking the, I'm taking the hide action. And I'm using my object interaction to make it look like the grandma turned into goo and got away through the sewers. <laughs> Roll still check. Roll still check. Holy fuck, I rolled a six and a one. Um, but I get a plus 10, so that's a 16. Dude, I am gonna, oh man, I don't wanna fuck this up. I'm gonna use my luck point just in case. That's all our luck points gone. Now, I know, right? I know, but I really don't wanna fuck Dude, this. Dude, we haven't even got in yet. I know, uh, <laughs> uh, that is a 27 stealth check. Good, excellent, good luck point use. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I, I, I 16 was low enough to really fuck us if I got it wrong, so. I think we're I think we're in the clear, I think we're in the clear. It does. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, good luck point. You see, she's all saying. Uh, Next up, right after Gillian, after you hide, and Jay, you are hidden. Um, Jay, you would still have at least hearing. You would still be at least able to hear things around you if you can't see because of your hiding. Mm-hmm. But um, with this, you would hear one of the guards actually uh, uh, comes around this building and blocks the exit of where you guys would have gone. But as soon as you kind of hear him approach, starts to walk around where it is, and he yells out, they must have disappeared to the roofs! No, no, please tell me he sees the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Let me see. There isn't a sewer system <laughs> up this high. Wait, there might uh, be. How would it work? Dude? I don't know. Okay, I don't no, know just, just like, there would be gutters. There would absolutely be, like, gutters and drains to lead things down, oh, yeah, right? yeah, right. That's what they're yeah, called. Yeah. Perhaps one of them went down the drains. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you would hear him kind of like uh, rush, rush away okay. from where you guys currently are right now. <gasps> oh my now. god! However, I cannot believe that worked. However, <laughs> Chip. <laughs> oh. Okay, Jay, it's your turn. What are you doing? I just um, do that to me. <laughs> I'm gonna. I guess I'll take my action and point in the general direction that Chip ran and use message and be like, "Hey, if you can, circle back around and meet us." Chip's general direction. Okay, yeah, you just point east. I'm, how how far is uh? 120 feet. So I I can't imagine he's that far away if he's. Well, I guess we'll see. You know, it'll be close. He might still be in range, actually. Yeah, this is just kind of an offshoot. So if he doesn't get it, he doesn't get it. All right, yeah, you're able to get the message, Chip. 
And uh, after that would be <laughs> the, the, the man who's chasing you. Um, but he can't. Does he trip? Does he trip? Does he on trip? this turn, Does because of your use, because of your uses of dash, he won't. If he runs, he won't be able to get to you this uh, this turn. But let's see. What's the DC on ball bearings? Ten. Ten. You rolled. He rolled an eleven. No. Minus two. Oh! Yes. Yes. Ooh, 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 yes! Ooh. Yeah! So I don't think at this point any of you would be able to see or hear, but yes! if you could, it would be a whoop. Damn it! Continue. And then he just like hits it, the fucking loud <laughs> clank of the hammer hitting the hitting the wood. Oh, um, huge. And uh, yeah, so that kind of frees you up for your turn, which is right now, Chip. What as you doing? I'm, as I'm running, I kind of just am laughing, looking behind me, seeing him like a banana peel, and I want to. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Uh, kind of as I'm running, because I'm going over to the edge, right? This is there's an edge that I that goes down, like there, yes. like a ledge, pretty much. Uh, I wanna yep. I wanna come by and kind of clip the edge with the grappling hook, and I wanna look over and say, "See a jump," and then jump off like backwards, <clears throat> holding on okay, to the grappling you, hook. Where are you trying to go? Down, away, out of sight, and it looks cool. Okay. Um... You're still cuffed. That's okay. <laughs> so roll, uh, uh, just roll a dex check with disadvantage. For the yeah, I'd like to jump off a cliff <laughs> with a high chance <laughs> of failure. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. It does look cool if it works. If it doesn't, I die. If it wasn't, if it wasn't a disadvantage, it would have been a sixteen. Right, not, but a you're bad number, not a bad number. Not a bad not number. Not a bad number. Good number, I'm, actually. That's uh, it. Passes most things. Passes most things. Passes most things. But <sighs> but with that with that Whoa. disadvantage we've got there, we're we're looking at about an eight. As I jump I off a cliff. Say, <laughs> as I jump off a cliff. Ah! <laughs> Just like, there's no one else to blame here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how how what's now? I really want to listen to the solo session. I blame I, I blame I blame Jay. What did I do? What was your plan? Jay, why yeah, would you Yeah, your that? plan was stealing their gun. Okay, it was... It was. It, it seemed what? like a better they plan. Gonna, even they weren't going to say. They weren't going to fucking gonna arrest say? us before then. <laughs> they were just going to call us stupid and make us leave. <laughs> I would say... Uh, you successfully are able to grapple like the wall, like grappling hook the wall, but... You are going to take some damage. It's basically success with the with the expense here. As I slam my face into the wall. Yeah, pretty much. That's better than uh, slamming I'll, into I'll the ground. And I will also say that like next next turn, you're likely to slip and fall without a successful check. But you're in you're in danger. You're in danger. Thirteen points of bludgeoning damage. Oh my god, <laughs> dude, you've kind of taken a lot. It's like a. 24, 25 down. Can you uncanny dodge hitting a wall? I don't know how it works. Okay. No, surely uh, not. And Bro, I'm uh, throwing what right it... now. What's up? Why am I doing this? I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right, I just all right. I think it looks cool, so I hurt myself. I don't know, I don't know what's going <laughs> on, man. Uh, next up, Gillian, what are you doing? Okay, so I'm a sea slug covered in garbage. <laughs> um, <laughs> I. Okay, so we were trying to get up past the staircase, right? Very yeah. simple. Just up the staircase to the third level. That's it. So I am Somehow going. Has taken the whole <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I have, really no, I have passed without trace. No, I have passed without trace. Is the staircase just like a staircase <laughs> totally out in the open, pretty much? Okay. I want you to imagine Allport is like a mix between Omashu and just a wooden boat. Okay, Omashu cool. from Avatar. Cool. Imagine there's a big, like, circular base. That is divided yeah. into these eight sections, the holes, yeah. and the rest of it's just a cake. It just goes up. Yeah. The hole is is like cylindrical layered Got it. cake. Got it. Second level okay. golden circle market. Third level is the fucking headquarters. Okay. And there's still, that one still, staircase that goes still, oh, bam. Still stealthing. All right. How tall is how tall is the staircase when I looked at it before? This is kind of important. Oh my god, it's very tall. Uh, I okay. don't know how to again. I don't know how to determine. No, that's okay. I'm just wondering if it's like fucking twenty feet or like a billion. You know what I mean? It's not a billion, but it definitely isn't twenty feet tall. It's a little bit too small. Okay. It's, it's gonna. It's a. It's a long staircase. It's probably. I don't know. I don't know how to estimate. Um, okay. Like a like a slug, um, I am going to slither out of the trash, 
uh, and begin looking for, um, there was that staircase to the side, we slipped away, there's now this wall in front of us. I'm gonna start looking for maybe, like, are there any holds in this wall in front of me? Yeah, it's I would like, say the staircase is probably, it probably goes up at least 90 feet, if not a little more. Okay, cool. Very tall. Um, all right, all right, all right. Uh, I don't want to circle back to the staircase because there's a lot of people there. So I'm just going to start slithering up the side of this building and wall here. Still stealthing. Okay, Covered so in garbage. Climbing, right? Yeah, I'm just climbing. All right, I think it's just athletics for climbing. Mm -hmm. Or you have a climbing speed. Natural 20. Ooh. Yeah, easy enough, bro. Uh, you guys can keep your stealth checks. Sluggo mode! All right, so you start climbing as sneakily as you can up the side of the wall here. Um, it is going to be a bit of a climb, but with a natural 20, I'll see you can just climb at normal speed. Oh, huge. Um, like an inchworm, I just start like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, are you dashing as well, or are you... Yeah, I, if I can, yeah, then I do. Because um, I don't really have anything else I want to do with my action besides get up. I was like, uh, movement is climbing, and you can action dash. Okay, then I'll dash, yeah. Yeah, okay, so you That's make awesome. it 60 cool. feet up the wall, um, which is pretty That's much kind of crazy, yeah. Um, so Gilly just starts fucking... <laughs> just, just fucking... <laughs> with that, um... It's a good thing you have a really high stealth. Use your new, use your new suckers, Jay. If Gillian's going up the wall, Jay's going up the wall, I, I would say for, for you guys, there doesn't seem to be an immediate threat right now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, especially because you're stealth and the other two soldiers, that you would you would definitely notice that there is starting to be a pickup and like a group of yeah. soldiers being gathered. That's yeah. why I think we just need gonna, to get out of here. How, how high is the, uh, the wall? 120? Uh, probably around there, if not more. Like, the staircase itself stretches up to about 90 feet or more. Um, but yeah, at least 120 feet for the entire wall. It's just very tall. I don't have... I'm not good at, like, measurements. But, yeah, it's very tall. Can I can I try to lob a grappling hook up to the top and, like, and snag a railing to assist with the climb? I have actually a, a, another question. If I use the spell catapult... Yes, dude! <laughs> yes! Can I, can I lower the DC check a little bit? I mean, I, it just erases the dex check, pretty much. Because okay. it's, uh, instead of having to throw it, you are using a spell to throw it. Yeah, okay. Which then would, it would be a straight line 90 feet. I use catapult on this thing. Fucking, um, I don't even know how to flavor catapult right now in this scenario. It happens, la. <laughs> <laughs> you cut away for a second and the grappling hook is there. Awesome. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to start trying to climb up using it. All right. Uh, you imbue the the catapult and it basically shoots out of your hand as if your hand was the gun awesome. uh, or a cannon and yeah, that um works. i would just say for brevity it kind of embeds into the wood quite easily mm -hmm. and you're able to start climbing up that rope using your stealth check as from before mm -hmm. just roll um with it yeah <laughs> i just roll, it, it. It, just it roll general athletics well not amazing but not it's fine. you're just you're just yeah. you're just gonna go at your normal climbing speed here yeah which is Dude, how did we not deal with having grappling hooks sooner? This is great. All right, it yeah, so you guys are scaling the wall. <laughs> there is a big ruckus beneath you as you look, but no one seems to be paying attention to the wall for some reason. No one's really looking up. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, it's because you, we're you sea would, slugs. We well, have no, to stealth it, it the would, sea slug. It would be, it'd be because because after he said they might be on the roof, he looked down and saw the, the, the sewage. <laughs> the grate. <laughs> the grate. <laughs> and they seem to be kind of have their attention a little bit distracted. Kind of, yeah, you get what I'm saying. Anyway, so uh, you guys Grandma's are Grandma's all up. skin and bone, baby. She's malleable. Chip. <laughs> You are hanging off the side yep. of uh, of uh, of, uh, of the side of the wall here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your goal to do? Okay, I don't tell you what to roll. Um. So I think the only way that I can hang on properly here would be to use the wall to kind of walk my feet up and wrap it around the rope, kind of holding myself in place. Um, and then try and uh, uh, use my thieves tools that are that would be at my my hip to remove the cuffs i would say that you're able to sort of run up back towards the wall mm -hmm. like climb basically climb um and we will also be kind of out of initial order here because most of the threats are preoccupied and not in direct contact with any of you cool so chip go ahead and roll uh, a uh a these tools check which is just gonna it's just your sleight of hand <laughs> Oh, it is you're 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 unable to 
<laughs> you guys didn't see his face, but it was really sad. It's, it's a, a 10. Yeah. No, no, it's not a 10. It's a natural 1. Oh my oh, god, what? You are very unable to unlock it. So you are still manacled. You're still handcuffed here. Um... <laughs> So the guy who fell from the uh, from the ball bearings, is he just on the ground? No, roll a perception check. Okay. No, he's right in front of you. Natural twenty on the dumbest the roll fuck? ever. <laughs> dumbest roll. I don't. Why do I need like that's, that's just it's like a yes or yeah, it's a yes or no question, right? Yeah, like you sort of peek around uh, where you where you basically ran from, trying to stay hidden. And uh, you'd be able to faintly hear with your natural 20. Sir, we've gathered a, a small crew. Should we alert uh, headquarters? And you hear the, the, the big guy. No need. I'll find those bastards myself. Um, and these just starts kind of like giving directions. Like spreading out uh, this group of now uh, what was used to be two. A platoon of Navy soldiers now patrolling this area. Okay. Um, <clears throat> much more security in front of the steps. They they don't seem to be allowing people up at the moment. With your natural twenty, you would also see the fucking slugs of uh, Jay and Gilliam <laughs> climbing the side. Of the <laughs> so I want to kind of circle around a couple of buildings if I can, or just like structures, um, and maybe wait around a corner to see one of these guards or, or soldiers. I mean, walking away. Uh, kind of take note of their features, um, and disguise myself as them with the bandana, and try and, without getting near this big guy, if possible, come around the other way, and, and attempt to, uh, go up the stairs. First things first, are you trying to be stealthy? If I can stealthily- You have to roll deception either way. If I can stealthily move past these first guys, I will. But like, I I would I would tr be trying to stand as as uh, confident blend, in my right? yeah. Try and blend as much right. as possible. Then roll deception. Okay. And then roll stealth. Uh, not fantastic. This is thirteen. Um, but okay. stealth, stealth is gonna be uh, a twenty-four. Okay. So, the reason why I asked you to roll stealth is because uh, I'm basically treating that as your blend-in roll. Mm -hmm. You're able to peruse right around the guards, blending in, sort of like looking in the same uh, uh, state. Or trying to, to get the same kind of panic state. And you just jog right up steps. Kind of like past these people uh, who are looking out. They recognize you as one of the Navy soldiers and they just kind of like move as if you're one of them and you just walk right past them. Mm -hmm. And you start jogging up the steps. Easy as that. Very simple. So cool. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah! <laughs> we did it! We did it, guys! We got up the fucking yeah! stairs! <laughs> yes! And Woo! that's where we end the session. I was kidding. No! <laughs> Bro, it's been two fucking hours. You it's fine. We can cut out. Up. We can cut out. Most of it, <laughs> dude. Can we? I don't no. know. Anyway, so after enough time passes, you guys all make it up to the third level here. Chipping and I'm uh, sorry, Jay and Gillian, you guys kind of emerge in what seems to be a neighborhood district of the third level here with buildings that uh, you would witness multiple like Navy soldiers dressed in more casual clothing, still wearing uh, at least some sort of identification, mm -hmm. uh, who walking into like family homes or interacting with neighbors. So, um, looks like a residential district built for Navy and their families. I'd like to observe that insignia I picked up off that guy. Sweet. Are they, they also, both slugs? I think I'm confused. Both of the sluggy people. <laughs> yeah, both sluggy people. Um, it's like, remember how I also, gave Jay those crab hands and like little crab hands? Yeah, I remember, I remember. I'm just wondering if, do you look like slugs? Are you it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all flavor, but it's like our skin gets a little slimier and we get like little sea slug bumps on us. Okay. And we like so, kind of change um, colors. So you're not like this big. You're not like the size of a no, slug. No, we're not literally slugs. We just look alarmingly slug like. As you guys uh, step into the, uh, what seems like the neighborhood of, um, and most of this area, besides the large dome like building which you assume is headquarters uh, most of this area is for navy families to live in um 
you look down at the navy insignia and it is this uh almost like small um i want to say like rose golden metal um taking the form of an anchor with wings would i recognize this as like insignia for a raft yeah oh. yeah it's uh it's pretty much rafts um and there are different variations if you're an officer or if you have um or if you're like brand new rookie or if you were killed at sea okay such as the insignia you hold on to from ava your sister mm -hmm. um and gonna do like a history check to see which one i have right now maybe just, yeah go ahead do a history check 12. the one you have is uh, like I've said before, an insignia or a medal of honor for unprecedented removal from service. So death. Hmm. Oh, um, for a, I'm talking about the one I stole off the guy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I thought you were rolling history. <laughs> he, he's dead. Sorry, <laughs> he died. I was like, how did he die? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know. I, I mean, surely I know what my sister is. Okay, yeah, yeah. I you wake you up too, in a cold like, sweat. Rolling, I was like, why are you rolling for the fucking... Um, yeah, I mean the one I, I I jacked off the guy that we knocked out. Yeah, I mean this way. one is this one was an insignia rank. It's just like an observer officer. Insignia. Okay, so not too high up. We need we need to knock out higher and higher ranks. Just because I mean We're also I mean, you only rolled a twelve, but like you would yeah. know just because you have an insignia um, doesn't really mean yeah. It might get you in the door, but if you show it to an officer above you and they don't know who you are, they'll know. Yeah, or at least they will probably know. They know who's under them. Uh, but yeah, you guys are sort of in the neighborhood section of the of the third level. Chip, you walk just right up the steps. <laughs> <laughs> You're able to meet back up effortlessly. Nice. With uh, uh, actually, what, what's your guys I passive? I insight? freeze. I freeze in a slug position. Has oh I my god, Jay! Because of your passive insight, I think Gillian too. You guys think it's an actual Navy soldier walking right up to you. Jake, get down, get down. Slug, I slug, hide. think slug, think slug. Halt, citizens. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're like two slug looking <laughs> things. I'm just like writhing on the ground like an inchworm. What brings All you right. to this district? <laughs> Jay, our cover's blown. I'm going to grab him and start to uh, drag him off to the edge. Throw him off the edge. Throw him off the edge. Stop. <laughs> Good Stop thinking. this at once. All right, here I go. Stop, no, he stop, 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 Gil, stop. He's trying to play that. chicks, chicks on No, us. no, Gil, stop. It's me. Oh. silly rabbit. Uh. Chicks are for kids. Oh, Chip. I'm glad you made it. <laughs> yes. Uh, um. <clears throat> Can you let me go now, please? Oh, yeah, I, I take him away from <gasps> dangling over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I am so tired of that. How'd it go on your end? Great. Is that I'm sorry to report that I've lost the grandma outfit. I had to make it look like uh, I turned into sludge and crawled into the tubes under the city. And I would like to apologize. I just don't think the grandma thing was really working for me. That's okay. Uh, oh, good. I think I think I like you better this way. I'm All glad you've accepted it. Gross and sticky. So anyway... Nothing uh, gross about a sea slug, Chip. In fact, if you want, I can make you one as well. No, no, you guys are <laughs> right. I'm, uh, I'm, the hive, I'm actually the busy hive. being a guard. Maybe I'm uh, taking you prisoner. We already tried this once, and <laughs> yeah. I don't think it worked then. Okay, how about this? We tried the Chip idea. It did. It worked enough. <laughs> we did work. <laughs> oh, it did, didn't it? Wait a, wait it did a minute. It worked. Yeah. Hang on. I couldn't get the cuffs off. Am I just a cuffed guard? <laughs> you, no, 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 no. Sorry. Yeah, you're still cuffed. You're, basically, what I envisioned is that the coat that you're wearing, the uniform, is covering oh. your wrists. <clears throat> but yeah, you're still cuffed. Okay. <clears throat> uh, just normal metal cuffs that you see Gil, uh, Chip is yeah. like wiring on his wrist. Let me try um, again. Well, I think it would work fine if I were not... Uh, Still cuffed. One second, do you have any tools for that? Yeah! Uh, uh, is there anyone around us? If not, I hit it. In the immediate vicinity? No, it's just quiet neighborhood. Very quiet. Okay, you do see sweet. people in the distance at their houses and stuff. Oh, okay. But like, if I like hit something with a sword, they wouldn't hear it? No. Okay. I'm gonna hit it with a sword. <laughs> Roll to hit! 
And these buildings, God. while everything else... Natural um, 20! What the oh fuck, my God. bro? You, you don't, don't have so to roll. Many natural you, don't, you don't have to roll damage. You don't have to roll damage. Uh, I, I, it has 15 I grab, hit points. <laughs> I grab your handcuffs, and they just, like... Melt <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> they just like glow with this holy light, melt onto the ground, and then just like evaporate into stardust. Singes your wrists a little bit. <laughs> and there you go. You see the face of this guard in front of you, but mortified. The power of destiny. Yeah. So that was step one. We're in now. We just need to get to the facility where the plans are kept. Uh, do I see anything that looks like it, it resembles that? R right. So the, your surrounding area. Well, most of Allport, like I said earlier, is built from this um, wood, a uh, uh, very thick, uh, um, unique wood. It's it's super thick, very sturdy, and it also, for some reason, doesn't ever really feel hot to the touch. Oh. Um, I guess you would be able to, to discern that at some point. Um, but the buildings on this side seem fairly new. And they're all made of this sort of like white stone, hmm. um, okay. white concrete and stone that Allport supports. You know, even though it's just wood, it's it's very sturdy. It supports any structure, but they definitely look out of place. And the most noticeable building is just off, uh, just off ahead, past uh, the uh, this like kind of residential district. There are other buildings that are around this area, although you don't know what they are because you'd have to like, kind of like traverse the area to find out. But the most, the main one that definitely grabs your attention is headquarters. It's this um, three tier cylindrical tower or dome like building that kind of like domes like this. And there is an entryway or, or sort of like a, a section of the building that like juts out uh, as like this uh, how do I how do I describe it? It's almost like a, a circle, with an upside down T. Okay. The building layout, uh, and then that uh, the end of that T is where the doors are, which are these like large ornate steel doors. You have to break into that. <laughs> All right. It's multi-storied. The cylindrical part of the building is multi-storied, sort of like a uh, a, a, a pagoda, the Japanese like multi-level mm -hmm. uh, uh, towers. And it has an extension on one of the sides of the cylindrical part, like the tower part of it, that is the entry way. Uh, right. And there is a another slab or building that intersects that one to create this upside down T shape at the front of the uh, the building, like you see, like I saw it in. in so that upside down T is the front of the building. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> well, Jay, you've got your wilderness magic and my slug magic on us at once we could just try and slink right in through a window or something true i like true. that we could just just want to jump through a window sure not jump slink. Well, open the window trail the window, and everything slinking. oh yes i don't know oh, if i can okay. slink i'm not a i'm not so slinky. We change that we no, i'm good that. I'm, i think i can just Join i'll find my chip. own way i'll find my own way <laughs> i'll slink you on sure? my own yeah 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 i'll i'm I can be slinky. Hey. Okay, you just stay close to slippery. us. Be careful when you're slinking on your own. Sluggy. You want to slink, but you don't want to be slunk. Oh yeah, exactly oh, hey, right. Actually, I know wait. about that. It's the wait, slinker be slunk. Do you wolf. have a? Do you have an insignia? Does that come with your funny disguise? An insignia? What's that? Yeah. Is that like a sandwich? I pull up the thing that uh. I got it from the knocked out guy's body. No, I, I'm pretty it, it sure might, it might help. I'm pretty sure this just works like a like magic. It's not actually. I don't okay. get stuff. You I should look hold funny. on to this just in case. That's it might maybe help you. Okay. I don't know. Okay, we can keep an eye on you, but we'll we'll slink up to the top, look for an entrance maybe, and make sure you get in. And if not, we'll simply dangle down. By her little snail bitch and kill whoever is causing a problem. Great. <laughs> okay. All right. We're up tied pirates. Maybe maybe we don't do a cheer right now. In the oh, you're, you're really right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. I'm new to this. Okay. We'll, okay. Do, a, we'll do a quiet cheer. Okay. okay. Yeah. Rip tied what? pirates. Oh, rip tied pirates. No, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Guess what? You have to roll. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm joking. Fuck. <laughs> uh, you should make him. That's funny. No, not no, after. Not. If we didn't just do everything we just did, I'd roll, okay? If that all them happened, I'd 100% be with it. No, I mean, you also just struck metal with your sword, so no, you're good. Um, okay, I'm going to start, I, I guess, uh, gooping over to the... And, and just scouting out the building looking for entrances that are not the front door. Um, we mentioned now that there's sort of this, this pseudo sewer system. I'm going to look for if there's any, like... Um, any grates or any window entrances or even any like fucking vents uh, <laughs> around around the side we're closest to on the building. Uh, roll investigation. Or, James, or yes, actually, sorry. please help me. I'm really bad at this and I'm confused. Okay, wait. What are we looking for? Like good vents? Yes, yeah, so it actually is an investigation. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, can I just can I just give Jay the help action on this? Yes. Cool. Womp. Let's see. Did you just roll two natural? You oh. did just roll two natural fucking oh! ones, dude. Dude, what is wrong with us this session? <laughs> this what is karma, fuck? bro. This Remember is karma for taking 30 fucking hours to get up the steps. Yeah. <sighs> okay. And now we're going to take three fucking hours to find a way we in. We didn't do Jay, it on purpose. <laughs> you, you remember how I, I described how the wood of Allport yeah. glows in the sun to give it this kind of like golden sheen and most people that you've heard almost call the whole part of Allport the golden city mm -hmm. it's so beautiful and bright you're <laughs> blinded you see nothing <laughs> I, I'm even sorry. with Gillian's help Gillian I just can't Gillian's can't. eyes are even more sensitive to the sun ah! oh! <laughs> I'm, con I'm confused I'm confused I, I, uh, I, I can't tell the difference between the world and the sun and I just start crawling up the building <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go up top and see if there's anything up there or I guess feel if there's anything up there Or I guess fall through a window because we can't see anything. So I'm gonna start scaling the uh, the building headquarters is very tall Oh, <laughs> I, mean, I, I figured actually... since it was domed it'd be easier, but if it's um, if it's domed it's curved and definitely not easier Well That's better slippery. than sheer like a sheer surface, I guess the cylindrical part reaches 160 feet tall. Oh god um, but yeah, I mean, you can start climbing if you want. You'd have to roll stealth because again, if you're going to walk to this building, you walk out of the residential district and you're starting to get into the, um, foot traffic of this area, which has people around. So you can't just scale the building without being seen <laughs> without rolling stealth. Yeah. Okay. Sure. 24. I just had to be within 30 feet of you, so if you're climbing, I'm climbing. I have to be close to you, too. <laughs> For mine. So, yeah, you have advantage and plus 10. Oh, that's awesome. <sighs> so, there's like a main there's like a main front door. I can't yeah, remember if you a, said there are main entrance. guards in so front large. of it. Or I can't remember if you said there were soldiers in front of it. They're not, no. Okay. I'm trying to figure out whether it would be funny there or are, just do it. There are many soldiers walking around this area. It is... Essentially, enemy territory. Okay. Uh, for you guys. Um, um, you would also like walking up to the headquarters part of uh, like the building for headquarters. You would walk past uh, other certain buildings, like a court room. Um, and you would also see there are citizens who aren't navy. Okay. But they look stupidly dressed, like <laughs> some weird ass fancy. I don't want to say fancy, but like very ostentatious. Whoville. I'm, I'm, I'm getting yeah, the yeah, idea. Like aristocratic. I'm getting the picture. Bullshit. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll save this for later. I, I just, I just want to say that my inclination, because you gave me that oil, was to pour oil in front of the door and bang on it and call for the guards <laughs> <laughs> to see if to see if they would run out and slip on it. That's but I'm awesome. not. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I. Yeah, it's very easy to, to discern that this building is full of soldiers. Yes, I just I thought it would be really funny if they would walk out and slip. That's all. Yes, I, what? Are so oh, soldiers come out. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it. Well, we'll do it later. I am going to Fuck. hide and try and disguise myself as that bigger guy. With and the hammer. With the hammer. Um, and I want to kind of stomp my way through up to the up to the front door 
and either try and walk in or bang on it if it's locked. Uh, it is not locked. You don't have to bang on it. You can just walk in if you want. Yep. <laughs> and you guys are climbing the building. Looking yes. for any sort of entrance, yes. Okay. Found one. <laughs> wow, awesome. He's so proud of Chip, you. Chip will never get through. The front door, they'll have guards posted everywhere. It's navy. You well, gotta watch your back. We did, we did cause such a ruckus down below that so many guards would have rushed <laughs> down. I guess I could just walk in. That's funny. No, I mean... <laughs> I mean, they probably just don't expect anybody to be on the third level. Why? Yeah, they don't need to really guard the entrance of their own headquarters. Right? Because they're guarding the only way up. But anyways, um, you walk in. You guys, I, I would say pretty easily find a window eventually. Um, but it is... <laughs> <laughs> it's a locked glass window. <laughs> They've thought of everything, Jay. They've locked every way in. Oh, we so gotta go higher. <laughs> One second. Wait, how high are we? Are we on like, the second floor at this point? You, I mean, you're unsure where it, where it in, enters into. You have no okay. idea. Okay. You are you are high up. I would say. I mean, you guys have got at least sixty feet, right? Jay, do you have any, do you have any magic spells you could use to get us in? Maybe thirty. I don't know. The first window you come to is about forty-five feet up for sure. Um. Magic spells. Yeah. If you give me an hour, I can make thieves tools and unlock it. <laughs> One hour? No. We gotta go higher. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> is there even like a lock on this side or is it just like a fucking window? Oh, it's true. <laughs> it's a window and after a moment, <laughs> no. looking into the window, it, it kind of just looks like, um, Almost like a, a chamber, a cylindrical or, or a box chamber. And after a few moments, you watch this kind of like a, a wooden crate like shape just sort of pass up past you with the heads, the back of the heads and the back of the backs of like soldiers rising up. So you're kind of hmm. like basically looking into oh, a, an elevator. elevator shaft. Yeah. Oh, I see. So, Jay, if this is some sort of lift, then maybe we can catch the next one. Um, that would involve us being inside, I think. <laughs> oh, you're <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to... Th I Listen, I, everything in my body is screaming, break the glass. And I'm trying to think of a solution that is not break the glass. But I don't have one. I look in the elevator shaft real quick. It how, how, like Could anyone hear if glass was broken you're not sure you do know that the elevator itself just went up so it just passed it's up right now okay <laughs> you can wait a moment okay what? Yeah, you, can wait. you can wait, wait a few I, moments to determine like, i wait a few moments until i believe that the elevator would be in a position where it was far away oh, i'm gonna break okay. the glass i break the glass <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna do what ah! <laughs> i don't roll yeah go ahead and roll uh, an attack how uh 11 that hits the glass roll damage Oh my god. 12. Well, surely. It cracks. No, I'm just kidding. It doesn't actually. Oh, uh, you know what? Break, actually, I have, okay. I have some of the sharpest fucking material known to man obsidian. Well, so that would have been just... really helpful to know, Jay, <laughs> before I just smashed that entire window open. <laughs> you smash the window bad. open, uh, smashing it towards one of the corners so that the rest of the window all shatters cleanly. Um, and you hear the glass sort of like fall for a bit. About as long as you you um you climbed, <gasps> oh, and you're not sure if it if it alerted anyone, but uh, uh the window's open. Or do we just do? go inside? All right, Jay, it's okay. We've got the stealth of a sea slug. We just gotta cling to the walls, and um and and stay. I don't know how to fucking stealth. I I I I I jump through the window and click onto the frame. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. You guys jump in. Um. Far below, you can see, uh, you know, like this kind of like uh, um, a stone wh white floor, same color as the buildings around, uh, like the, the housing. Uh, and you look up and you see the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it coming back down? Um, it's it's coming back down, stopping. Coming back down, stopping. Jay, crawl, crawl down, crawl down, Jay. Fuck, <laughs> shit. We'll go back to you guys as uh, Chip, you walk through the front door here. As I walk through um, the front door, what am I seeing? What's in front of me? Yeah, I like it. You walk in front and you see what is essentially a great hall. It's this long hall, very big, super tall. Uh, I'm going to uh, describe this almost akin to Grand Central Station since I was like just there. Where's that, 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 uh, uh, 
You get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I understand. I understand. The the arched grand hall that leads uh, down into what seems to open up into a more circular space. Okay. Uh, which would you would assume would be the cylindrical tower, and there is another hall that intersects to the left and right, which gives like which basically opens up past to the left and right as soon as you walk in. Uh, that are smaller mm -hmm. hallways, not as not as big or grand in terms of height or space, but they do lead down into other chambers and whatnot that you can notice. And there are tons of soldiers kind of like walking, some in groups, some alone. Some, uh, they're also like, uh, um, uh, people who are not dressed in Navy uniforms, but more like, more like businessy attire, um, uh, but you're uncertain what they're doing. Okay. And, uh, you, where are you going? You're walking down this hall into like, okay, where so the, the as I'm walking down area? this hall, I would like to find one of these guards you talk about that is singled out. The one that is furthest away from any larger groups. I would say you're able to find someone who is walking towards the uh, open area, which seems that the circular main building, um, that seems to be a lobby area that is as open and as large as like a big hangar um, mm -hmm. with different <clears throat> display cases of different pieces from history that uh, include things like old Navy uniforms and uh, um, things that, that relate to that nature. Okay. Um, um this area is still patrolled by like lots of soldiers that drive like, around the building, but you see someone who's like clutching some sort of uh, uh, books, who's just sort of uh, like a much scrawnier, shorter kind of fella who's like in a rush walking by themselves. Is he? Is he a soldier? Towards the elevators. Yes, he's wearing a soldier. Okay. I don't know for him. <clears throat> I, I but wanna... it's more. It's 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 way simpler. It's just like a collared shirt, same colors. I want to like walk forward, lumbering towards him, trying to stomp as hard as I can to to create that same like weight that that this man had uh and and kind of point out at him you come to me yes sir he like starts to run over we've got intruders <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> let me get there <laughs> he looks at you a little nervous and anxious what are you saying <clears throat> we saw Eyes a couple wide. of them down at the stairs they are deceptive they are they could be any one of us around. I need you to stick with me. Take me to the construct. I have to defend it. The construct? What do you mean by construct? The... Where they're building. We're stealing plans. We're not stealing... We're stealing the... plans. Fuck! Uh-oh. <laughs> Whatever. Uh -oh. Okay. He looks, uh -oh. he looks at you. Uh, th 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 sir, I'm just, I'm just a rookie. I I'm on my way to one of the classes right All right, right rookie, now. do you want to die? You want this all no, to be your no, fault? No, I don't want to die. I don't. I don't want to die. It's I all swear, gonna fall apart, to rookie, and it's gonna be your fault. <laughs> you pull this kid, this kid closer. Um, he seems to be just a normal human with like bright yellow blonde hair that's just flowing uh, past his face, and you shake it and it flows into his face. Ah! I need you with me. You're my eyes and ears. You're all I have in here. I'm I can't trust any others. I gotta get training. If I don't get there, there's, there's not going to be any training if we let these maggots get in here and take what's ours. You understand sir, me? What's your name? Sir, yes, sir. Stand at attention when you're talking to me. Yes, sir. Yes. I didn't get your name. Uh, Cedric. Cedric. Do you love your Navy, Cedric? Uh, y yes. Hmm? And you'll protect it with everything you've got. You're all I can trust in here. Because I know you don't have the spine to lie to me. Do you, Cedric? No, sir. Sir, no. I mean, sir, no, sir. So take me you doing? to protect what's ours. Do, 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 do you not know where to, to, to go, <laughs> sir? <laughs> or, do, do, well, do I don't know to where to the, go. You should know where we, to go? Should we, should we get the, uh, should we get the, um, should we get the Admiral? Or? I told you! We're all that's left. Anyone around here could be an intruder. <laughs> this is the most fucking insane plan you've ever had in your life, Bisley. Dude. Alright, roll, roll, um, deception. <laughs> Come on. You give are. Me, give me a little. You are give me a little insane. Get a good roll. Get a good roll, bro. It's great. No, it's great. I love it. I love it. Uh, <laughs> sure. Advantage. Yeah, sure. Shortly. Okay. Dirty stinky 20. Nice, dude. <clears throat>
<laughs> All right, so what are you trying to get him to do? Because he's just glad like, you had can... advantage, bro. Because that was a natural one I just saw. Dude, I know you can. Yeah. You um, you're very you're staring in the face of what seems to be a brand new and doc like a uh, uh, enlisted <laughs> navy soldier trying to study for classes and make it a class. What are you trying to get out of this? I want him to take me it's not clear to, for me. to the plans. How would he know? How would he know? I forgot that they were in plans and not an actual thing. So I'm saying what's valuable because he seemed confused and I forgot what we're here for in character. <laughs> 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 dude, dude, how is this rookie gonna know where the plans are? I just asked for a dude, man. <laughs> Do you love your country? Do you love your mom? <laughs> Take me to the plans. He looks at you worried. Take me He's to the like plans. shaking. He's like shaking, bro. He's he looks so fucking scared. He's sir, sir, sir uh, you you can take the the the, the elevators to the to the to the. To, 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 to the third, the third level and and see the, the, the admiral if there's a, a, a oh, problem. No. I, I, I want you at my side. You're coming with me. I, 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 Let's I'm go. Gonna get, I'm going to get fired to if I miss training today. <laughs> I'm going to fire you if you leave my side. You understand me? Sir, yes, sir. Are you crying <laughs> on me? Are you a little baby boy? <laughs> no, no, sir. It's okay. Wipe those tears. It's hard times around here, I understand. But you're all I have, you understand that? Do this. You're gaslighting this. I'll see you, <laughs> I'll see you promoted. Heck, I'll see you as the Admiral. Just stick by me. You'll be a hero in the Navy. Uh, I don't think you can... You can promote me to Admiral? Who are you to say what I can do? <laughs> <laughs> Are you forcing him to go along? Yes. I, I'm, right. gra I'm gonna uh, grab him by the back and like just kind of snickering to myself, continue walking. Oh my god. <laughs> You're evil, bro. Um, yeah, you you walk in. <laughs> this you is start like the to walk. Of he's evil the enemy. Stupid. I didn't kill him. I just was. <laughs> he's mean to he's him. he's the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> he's a kid, bro. Um, you you uh you head towards the back wall. This this uh like the circular back wall of. Uh, this main lobby area to what seems to be like four different elevator shafts, oh. likely leading to the um, same place. But it's just because there's so many people walking around in more room. Um, and they're all being operated what look like monstrous prisoners because they're one of them is almost like, like this big ogre uh, with like really thick black steel shackles. Um, the other ones are also the same kind of monstrosities or, or just uh, um, scary looking uh, beasts or humanoid figures. Um, and one of them, which you are walking up to waiting for the elevator to come back down, one of them is this, is the large ogre I was describing, but he is wearing a bow tie. And he's like, he has this like really mean, frustrated, just angry expression all the time. And uh, he's cranking this wheel that seems to be operating what the elevators are. And uh, as he is cranking it, Gillian and Jay, it is coming down. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Um, Gil, Gil, okay, we're gonna hide. Okay. We're gonna hide and then we're gonna get on top of the elevator, okay? It's good. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna get on the bottom of the elevator. It's coming so fast. I don't what think I can squished? get on top. No, if you go on the bottom, then he's gonna squish you in the- I didn't think of that, Jay! I'm hanging on to the bottom now! <laughs> <laughs> You'll know. Get on top. You're the best of us, Jay. Live on. <laughs> can, I, can I crawl onto the top of it as it's like going past make, or it stops? Make acrobatics as you try to squeeze your tiny frame through the cracks. 22. <laughs> nice. Okay. You have to... advantage on that too, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and roll it. I mean, you rolled 19. So All dex yeah. checks. All dex checks. Yep. Yeah. Just in case you get a natural 20. No, I didn't. it was nope. close. Yeah, so you're able to squeeze through the sides, just the gaps that you can find um, between the elevator and the sides of the walls, and you're able to... And, and these walls don't have, like, walls. So, um, I'll say using your stealth check from before, you're able to get back onto the, the roof and not alert anyone who's inside the elevator itself. <laughs> um... Or I should say, there's like there's more like gaps in, so you can look out, uh, like the windows that you pass pretty much. Um, 
Kale's just gonna get scared. Think, think the Final Fantasy, dude, bro. Think the Final Fantasy, uh, uh, elevators and like mm -hmm. the fucking underground dungeons and whatever. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Just those yeah, wooden, those yeah. large wooden elevators that are rectangular that like, go up and I down. get you. I get you. I, I figured there was probably space under it, like beams or something supporting so, it. But, but if there's not, I will just be crushed. Yeah. Um, for this, I'll just say roll, <laughs> roll a, roll a, sh oh, I didn't mean to roll for you. Roll a strength. Roll strength? Saving roll throw. Squish check. <laughs> saving throw. Strength saving throw. Oh, 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 shit, shit, shit. Um, okay. This is fun. <laughs> um, not good. Add four to that. Uh, ten. Okay. Ten. I'll say you don't get crushed to death. Great. But you take some damage. Are we close to the, are we like right against the bottom? You are underneath the um the elevator yeah itself and jay is on top and you guys can hear this freakish uh uh loud oh. like man with a like a cowering it's ship and uh i mean you don't know it's ship <laughs> but it's like a navy soldier yeah um <laughs> i'm talking about intruders <laughs> they're on to us jay shit <laughs> shit so just take uh 12 How points of bludgeoning out. damage okay <laughs> do i um, when we're so, both grabbing onto this elevator, do we hear anything from coming on top of it? Like, are there people talking on it or anything? Go ahead and roll perception, Gillian. Oh boy. Since you're, since you're the one who asks, I'll just say. Yeah. Um, Five. <laughs> <laughs> Good rolls a, today. Dude, um, they all woo! suck, man. They all, all suck. So because, I mean, it's hard for you to hear much at the moment since you're kind of underneath the elevator. There is a gap at the bottom. That you fit through but it is still kind of like it's compressing you essentially mm, yeah. um and jay's on the top jay on the top however with your passive perception uh, as yes. these guards <laughs> are leaving and getting off this elevator shaft and and busily this is where you would and this little kid or this teenager pretty much would be walking on <laughs> the people who are leaving are speaking if you want to like i would like to tune try in to... on it yeah you have to roll yeah. perception to see how much you get just figure any info 18. we can get on 15. 18. 18. So at least I'm rolling. Okay. I'm so happy we have you, bro. I'm really, I really, really am. <laughs> you hear there? They're kind of like whispering to each other. They're they're much older uh, guys, and uh, one of them at first says, "I don't want to go back up there to the vice admiral, bro. He is dealing with some serious shit." And the other one replies, "Yeah, man. <laughs> like it was really scary, huh?" Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> is this the fucking is this mystery incorporated? If I ever have to go back up to his office, I might just piss myself. <laughs> ah, don't be a little bitch. Um, and as they start to walk out, you get to hear um that's actually all that you get from them. Um I'm just gonna chill on the top of the elevator and uh Yeah. I'm gonna hope I'm gonna... that chip <laughs> yeah, Tip gets man. inside the elevator. You're on top of the elevator. Get I'm rocking it on the bottom of the elevator. Do I see these weird like ogre things? Uh, once the elevator starts to rise, you would get a glimpse of the ogre wearing the bow tie. Yes, who is cranking the wheel and causing the elevator to go up. And also with really like long <clears throat> chains, with really thick shackles on him. As we're going oh. up in the elevator, <clears throat> I just want to look over to this kid. You need to be careful. This intruder could be anywhere. He's sly, devilishly handsome, and very smart and handsome. And he I'm could so be shook. anybody. So shook. <laughs> Can I whisper to the bow tie ogre? <laughs> As you're rising? Yeah. What are you saying? Um, hey man, you should be, need me to get you out of here. Cranking the wheel, one eyebrow raises like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> that exaggerated just, eyebrow raise. You just look like you're having a really bad time. I just know these guys can be pretty hard on you. I have a friend, Marshall John, got him out of the system too. I'm just wondering if Keeps you raising. <laughs> <laughs> and then he disappears. He does. Dude, I'm losing my fucking mind at the idea that you look down. <laughs> at this guy and you said hey do you want to get out of here and you said he went <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking, fucking eyebrow 
Ah, uh, he just, like he Dwayne just keeps the going. Rock Johnson. Yeah, I mean, you but you hear like uh, like when the eyebrow raises, you just hear. <laughs> just like just doing the the crank, not even like paying mind to it. Um, right, you get the sense he looks. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, hey, don't tell um, him what I'm here. He's just raising his mouth. Okay, don't tell him, bro. Don't tell him, um, dude. Uh, and then at, 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 after a few moments, it would stop the second level of of the of the building. And when that happens, uh, another two soldiers walk mm. into the elevator. Marshal Troy, what are you doing up here? I thought your post was at the stairs. Uh, we had some intruders down at the stairs. I'm checking in with the. Admiral. <laughs> Deception. This is gonna go Deception great. or come on, bro. <clears throat> Give well, me a little something, cause I got the words yeah. right. Yeah. Isn't it the vice admiral though, or is it the admiral? Fuck, whatever. It's okay. It is the vice admiral. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nineteen. Intruders. I thought I heard a a call coming in into the control center. Yeah, we gotta keep our eyes out. Well, we'll be warned, the, uh, the Vice Admiral is pretty busy today. He's going on some important calls, talking about important secret business. No one's really allowed in or out, but uh, maybe he'll see you if you got a good reason. Intruders, I mean, we can go to... He starts just talking about, like, uh, like, uh, like nonstop. Yes. Just keep I agree with what it. you're saying. <laughs> um, and, He's such uh, a Navy soldier. He's born for this. <laughs> Gillian, I'll let you as as the elevator starts to rise again. I'll let you roll one more perception check. Uh, ooh, could I have pretzel roll perception? Yeah, sure, that's fun. Cause she's better at it. All right, cool. <laughs> pretzel, you see anything? That is gonna be a eighteen. Pretzel, pretzel sees and hears something. Um, <laughs> good, good job, pretzel. Uh, and starts to like bang on the on on her on her glass to get your attention as you're rising. Um, and she, she like like points one of her tentacles, and you see down the hallway, coming out of a, a, a door or an entryway or some, holding like this like circlet, not circlet, sorry, like the circle of keys, a key holder, with tons of keys on it, dangling. Uh, he like locks the door and then wipes his his brow and goes, "The chosen one, what a freak!" And he starts <laughs> to walk away. <laughs> Wait, what? I. <laughs> I swing off. I swing off. I'm trailing him. I'm trailing him. I'm going. All right, Gillian this disappears into the hallway. <laughs> you better, be, you better be talking about a different chosen one, like for the guys on the land, not me. <laughs> I don't. I don't even notice that Gillian's gone. Like I don't because I'm on top and he's on bottom. <laughs> Gillian swings off into the hallway of the second level here, uh, and you are going to be. Again, trailing some guy. I can't. I can't do it with shape. Why? With that, the elevator starts to keep rising. Jay, you would know that now you're going to have the same problem Gillian did. Where as soon as it reaches the third level, after, you know, 60 or so feet, you're going to have the ceiling come on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, come to Come to compress you. Yeah, my plan is I'm gonna try to hang off of the. I'm gonna try to jump off the elevator and hang off the ceiling in front of the elevator, rather than get squished. So you know, a stunt of acrobatics, perhaps. I'm. I'm. I'm I don't know. What are you talking about? What ceiling of the elevator? Well, not the elevator. Like the actual ceiling. Like in front of. Go like out the elevator up. door first before the <clears throat> elevator gets there. I'm not in the elevator. No. Yeah. 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 This one. You're on top of the yeah, elevator. Yeah. Oh. Oh. The... You mean like dive into the the third. Like the hallway. Third level hallway, like the entryway well, before the yeah, elevator I was comes. Try to and like, hide on the ceiling. Yeah, I was gonna try to hide, like, like get a hold on the ceiling if I could, and hold, like hang up there. So the elevator is like, coming up. A... There's the entrance. You want to swing into the entrance and then up into the hallway roof? Yes, I suppose. All right. Or hide somewhere if there's anything to hide behind. I still have fast without a trace on, so. Um, I mean, yeah. How? Like, you can you can very I... easily jump into the third levels like uh -huh. hallway um because you're on top of the elevator so you're gonna see that entryway first yeah um and then you can use your action to hide if you want yes you just have to roll another stealth check um 16. okay yeah uh you assume that you are hidden you kind of duck and i don't even know where you hide you you slink into the corner 
Um, yeah, right just behind where they come yeah, yeah. out. Yeah. And uh, um, Chip, as that that uh, uh, the elevator stops, the guy next to you who's, who's just talking your fucking ear off about shit, he goes, "Yeah." And then uh, whenever I get back to the wife, I suppose we'll uh, talk. Oh, um, down this way. Make sure you tell the uh, the vice admiral I said. Uh, <laughs> put in a good word for the promotion. <laughs> Will do. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> as, as I'm walking by, whispering to the kid's ear, that could have been uh, him. The the guy the guy as you start to walk past grabs hold of the uh, the rookie soldier, um, Cedric. He says, "Not in here, kid." I need him. I don't know which. He has key information on the intruders. <laughs> You're just lying in front of this kid now about this kid. Oh my god. And I nudge him like I I. Like, elbow him. He, like, squints his eyes at you and tilts his head. It's a strict common rule that no rookies are allowed on the third level. Not sure what he's doing in the elevator, but this help is as far as he can go. Unless, of course, you want to get him in trouble. And you can explain to the Vice Admiral. Go on, kid. Just tell him the information right now so he can pass it along and get back to your studies. Uh, <laughs> that so needs to stay between us and the Vice Admiral. Sorry. <laughs> This intruder is sticky. He could be any one of us. So this is another deception, actually. That's actually that's true. That is true. I'm not lying. I'm technically you are not li lying because he doesn't have information about. I'm lying about thing. that, but I'm not lying about how the intruder could be anybody. Dude, that's you gotta not really a lie. bank. This kid likes you, man. I really this is hope real, this, this kid is, likes this you. This is whole deception, bro. Because you are lying about Fuck. everything. Okay, man. Fine. You are lying about who you are. Twenty-one. Let's go. Okay. Yes! I'm worried for you right now, dude. Why? I'm I'm this riding is, a high of lies. I know it's a good roll, but you got this kid is like also you're lying about what you are, what he is, what you do, what he does, and where you are, and what you're going to do. He's too scared <laughs> of me to say anything else. You're gonna you're going to dig yourself a hole of lies. Well here's here's the thing, right? My you. idea is that the kid won't trust anybody else because he'll think that they're all intruders. And he'll trust I me. Really that's what I'm banking he, on. He I don't, just, I don't he know. just thinks you're insane. <laughs> and it depends how hard him. I've tricked this kid into thinking that everyone else around him I, is evil. Dude, I hope there's me. a movie little. I hope there's a movie level twist where he thinks that uh, you could be the intruder and you need to convince him or some bullshit. Well, best make it quick, Marshall, and he just kind of uh, nudges the the kid, and then the kid walks forward, and he looks to his left, and his eyes go wide. Jay, you meet eye contact with this kid who looks at you for a second. <laughs> Direct eye contact. And he just stares at you. And then he turns his head and looks towards Chip. What are you looking at, kid? Keep attention. I, I keep it casual. <laughs> his eye, his, In the corner. His eyes, I his, light a cigarette. His eyes kind of go to the corner to look at the um, the woman as, <laughs> as he's looking at you. Chip. He's like trying to nudge you to look at her. I look at her and I just go... Oh god damn it. Ah um you <laughs> stop there, stinky woman. And I wink at her. Before you are able to get anything Oh um, my god, it's Chip. <laughs> it would it would be the kid. It would be the kid. He interrupts you whenever you say you there, and he says, sir, yes, sir. He turns back towards the guys in the in the elevator and nods. I was trying to get it out before you started yelling that he was uh um Covering, complying <laughs> for the woman in the corner. Just a busy day in the office. <gasps> I smoke a stick. <laughs> it's wait. The kid was stick. covering for her. That's what I was rolling for. Yes. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, dude, we're gonna. This kid's in deep now. He's a riptide pirate, bro. I don't make the yeah, rules. Yeah, he's a riptide pirate. <laughs> surely. <clears throat> I don't know if she, you know what they, you know what they say complying. about the riptide, bro. You get pulled in. <laughs> One of us. Now, Cedric, I believe this is the intruder. <laughs> what the fuck are you saying right now? And, you know... Who are you? I'm... S sir? It's bring your daughter to work day, dumbass. <laughs> oh, ma. Uh, sir? <laughs> yes. I'm just, like, looking around really confused at this point. Like, what, what, what part am I playing anymore? <laughs> 
What is what I looked at the kid. What is what does Cedric say? <laughs> you just, just claim you're her daughter or some bullshit. <laughs> I um I I I I don't make mean to make uh, uh assumptions. Are you are you really a soldier? And he looks back at Jay and he says, You look like Captain Farron. Ava Farron. I, I kind of look down to the left a little bit. And he looks back at you, uh, <laughs> uh, Chip, and he goes, I, I figure you would know what's going on here. Am I going to get in trouble? Uh, no. No, you won't get in trouble. Um, this is actually, uh, and I want to pull off the headband. Oh, okay. Oh. And what are you saying? That's this a lot of trust. This is Captain J. Farron. Are you the... No, no, the intruder is blue and, and really fishy. We're just, we're just trying to look for him. Uh, look. <laughs> You are Still lying. <laughs> you are the worst. But no, that's not a lie. That's true. <laughs> it's still a lie. Wow. You are not the intruder. Fuck. <laughs> Technicality, man. Let me get away with them. Did, 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 did you did you say J J J Farron? Like the like the like the like the 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 one on the on the on the wanted Okay, okay. Catch your breath. Catch your breath, Cedric. Everything's okay. Sisters. Everything's cool. 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 Everything's same guy. Jay, what do you do? Um, <laughs> there's a door. Like, there's a door next to you. There's tons of doors. This is like basically. Uh, I want you to in, in, imagine that this elevator sort of steps off into um a, a hallway that leads probably into another open like room or uh, uh sorry no 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 not an open room but this is like a, like a, a, a hallway that follows the shape of the building but kind of has multiple doors on both sides that lead into like different chambers. Uh, being yeah. the third uh, level, you know any... that the Vice Admiral's office is on this, from what you've heard so far. <laughs> Watch as I slip into the Vice Admiral's I wanna, office. I, um, as that door opens really quickly, I want to say to the kid, like, before anybody comes in, uh, look, I know you don't have a reason to trust us, just please help us. We're just trying to keep people safe, okay? You're Navy, right? You want to keep people safe. It's all we're trying to do, okay? We'll leave right after you help us, I promise. Yeah, that's great. I'm gonna go into this room now. Yeah, okay, I wanna. Is whatever. there any ambient noise coming from a room, on, like the cover. next room near? You wouldn't know. You don't have enough time to make that informed choice. Cover. Okay, you either go into, into an unknown room. door, or you or you stay hidden in the corner. I go. I go into a room. <laughs> you go. You, you disappear, <laughs> and then the, you see one of these um, more stout. Uh, is stout the right word? What does stout mean? Like short and stocky, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so you see, like, like a kind of like a dwarven. Uh, Navy soldier who just kind of walks down the hallway sees you and the young kid um, and like like ra raises another eyebrow bats an eye and then it's just waiting <clears throat> next to you guys for that elevator to come back up mm -hmm. okay uh, I want to try and walk by like without without anything maybe holding okay. the kid uh, by by the arm and continue walking all right uh, to the to find this um, vice admiral's office okay you do that he is uh he looks Silent, still pretty stiff. And Jay, we'll get into what door you just <laughs> hit into. Uh, After yeah. we switch over to Gillian. Oh, Gillian, boy. you swing. Did have you rolled stealth a second time? Uh, yeah, we did. We did. Go um, ahead and, and uh, where? When was the last again? time you rolled stealth? We rolled stealth, I believe, when we swung into not, the not, elevator. Nope. Nope. You got crushed by the elevator. <laughs> that was the last time before. Okay, so you need to roll another cell check for this. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Without your plus ten. Okay, 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 okay. No God, I'm no praying for you. Okay, okay. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I'm scared. It's fine. 
<laughs> I dropped my dice on the floor, and it is... <laughs> I rolled a four and an 11. And with my stealth, that moves down to a nine. Does this man, woman, child, or elderly person have eyes? Because if they do, I'm fucked. You begin to, without really trying to sneak, just walking, because you're so focused on what he said, trail this soldier. Um, you're trying to reserve yourself, but it's hard to like, <laughs> look like it's hard to contain. Because you, because yeah. in Gillian's nature, your first instinct is to just du be direct. Yeah. But you're trying not to uh, cause a scene as per request to eat, and I assume. Do you try and stealthily sneak and uh, follow? Doesn't seem to pay, doesn't seem to notice or even like acknowledge the footsteps behind him or anything like that. He doesn't turn around to look at you or whatever. Um, you follow him until he curbs right into a, a doorway that leads into a room full of, uh, uh, with like three or four Navy soldiers sits down in a chair and you can see in this room um is it's sort of like rows and rows of conch shells set up like a board of phones mm. with all these soldiers sort of uh operating them like picking it up listening going firm and then putting it down mm. and then they'll pick up another one and they will basically transfer the message go ahead and roll perception check 10. Okay. We're out of my zone of expertise, boys. <laughs> it's a little it's a little hard to hear, you know, what they're talking about. Um, so you get kind of like broken up words of mm -hmm. the sentence. You hear chosen one. Okay. Transferring. Oh. Today. Strange. Nutcase. <laughs> Contact. Okay. Fish girl. No. Cuba. Cuba. Official business. Are any of them talking? Are any of them talking back through the phones? Does it look like it's a two-way line, or just a one-way line? Think of it as your your and Caspian's conch shell. They receive information through one and send information through the other. That's what you're gathering from watching. Is there is there one that they're sending information through? Is it or is it on each there's a set? On each there's a set pretty much. Okay. It's like stations. Stations probably linked to different I mean you don't know, but yeah. Now Jay, I have this terrible idea, but Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll just do it then. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> um, I am going to. <laughs> First of all, is there a window in this room? Last final question. In this room, no, actually, because this room is is um uh, uh the so the only window is basically the one you're looking through, which is kind of like tight glass pane um that's just breaking the door, if that makes sense. And the light inside is very dim. Okay. But it Perfect. Be a window out Perfect. They just hear a tss as I cast fog cloud inside the room. I'm going to slip inside and lock the door. <laughs> what? I'll say that the fog cloud begins to aberrate slowly, and then you mm -hmm. lock the door, and the door. it's becoming event like very heavily obscured. And one of them like like perks up and goes. You, you smell that. I and then do. Before they know it, <laughs> and, I, and I jump in. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you trying well, to do? <laughs> heard you were talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm, my god! Like these poor guys. You're gonna attack them? Oh no! Oh. I'm gonna start smashing all the communication devices. <laughs> oh my god! Well, the okay. door is locked. I thought I was insane. We're both um. insane. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Okay. Heavily well, obscured. I mean, this is very Gillian, at least, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> So yeah, uh, the, the the fog cloud disperses, and they start to, there's immediate panic in the room as you start to hear 
Uh, one of them pulls out Who's a weapon. Who's transferring? Who's fires the at disadvantage. Girl? What's they the roll a, They roll a 17. Does that hit you? It doesn't hit you, right? 17. Uh, actually, uh, it does because I have, um, uh, whatchamacallit, a different kind of armor on today since I didn't want heavy right. armor. But... Uh, as they cast, or as they go to strike me, I just, like, look at them, and the vapor in front of me just, like, fucking hardens into a shield of, uh, a shield of ice, and they just see my glowing eyes behind it. <laughs> okay, um... And cast shield. All right, so it doesn't hit with shield? No, no reaction? Okay, so it just... Um... And uh, another one, it just kind of like goes for like a, like a grapple, but because I rolled a natural twenty and then I oh. rolled a seven, they miss you because they're at disadvantage with it being heavily obscured. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. And you're just smashing shit everywhere. <laughs> I'm what, destroying what? everything. Go ahead and roll. Um, just go ahead and roll damage to see how much damage you do to everything. I'll just say that um, you don't have okay, to roll to hit because you you hit. It's easy enough. Can I use prophetic screw up to just turn into a whirlwind of chaos? Yes. <laughs> this, there's no way this can possibly go wrong. Then I do. <clears throat> and I'm going to roll a d20 to see how badly it goes. Imagine you're in a navy base. Just walking through. I rolled a four. And, <laughs> and you walk by a window. And All it's right. just like a Tasmanian devil has taken over one of these <laughs> communications rooms. <laughs> uh, anyway, everything went wrong. <laughs> I rolled a fucking four on my prophetic screw up. I'm looking at the table. Have you ever... Ever in your life rolled a <laughs> 10 on Last time, scrub. last time I did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Okay. That was the first it was time. Great. It was great, it was awesome. That's the it only time, it. actually. It yeah. was worth it. It's. I'll say, this is much more, like, balanced than how it was at first, I think. Yeah, well, this is, it's also historically only fucked me, so it is kind of funny. <laughs> fits, the, fits the name. So, you, you pretty much uh, aren't... You leave yourself wide open, so people who have advantage on the attack rolls, but since obscured, it'd be a straight roll. Oh shit! Um, uh, I'm gonna go for the my second attack now. I was just I was just saying to basically roll damage with your attacks, and see how much damage you, you do. Yeah, there. yeah. So basically, I was doing it like I was just like, oh, okay, I'll just roll damage for the second attack. Then my bad. Um, I will a hundred and ten percent smite on this. Uh, that is just gonna be twenty three damage. All right. Um, so you're like smashing things and you hear them go, what is it? I don't know. Maybe one of the monsters escaped. Call for help. I can't. Oh, All here. the call shells late. are broken. <laughs> <laughs> Who will you call? It speaks. It speaks. Leave the door. Get one of the captains. The door's locked. <laughs> Unlock it, idiot. <laughs> it is not your destiny to leave this place. It is pure fucking chaos in here. Um, oh my God. What's the plan after you have... After I've destroyed uh, everything, I'm going to cast yeah. uh, Shape Water on the moisture on the door to fully freeze it closed. And then I am going to interrogate these people and figure out what's going on after I've destroyed all the communications in and out as I put on the Dread Helm. But we'll... We'll return, okay? <laughs> okay, that's we'll fine. We'll return to this possibly next time. <laughs> all right, Jay. <laughs> Hey, it's me. <laughs> you slip into a room. It's uh, dark. It's in, no, none of the... Uh, I mean, there's a few, like, oil lanterns that are hung or, or mounted onto the wall that are that are lit that, that provide uh, dim, warm lighting in this room. It seems to be um, some sort of storage for... As you start to look around, like, a storage for, like, armories, like, or armor and uh, weapons. Oh, you know, I need a new gun. I grab a gun. <laughs> All right. Well, what kind of gun are you looking for? Just a regular pistol. Are you sure? What else is there? Oh. What, what else we got? <laughs> roll, roll, okay, roll investigation. I'll tell you. Yeah. Okay. Are you, that, are you sure? It makes me think. Uh, there's some crazy you're in the, bullshit. You're in the here. armory of Navy headquarters, and you get just a pistol. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jay Farron. for me. Investigation ten on the, uh, right in the middle. I just didn't assume they'd have, like, machine guns or anything crazy. No, nothing like that, but you're kind of looking around, and there's, like, a case of, uh, um, or not a case, but kind of like a display case of pistols that are lined up in rows. Oh, okay, um, so, like, different kinds of pistols. Yeah, yeah, like, different kinds of pistols. There's also guns that are hanging on the wall that are the, the, the longer guns, like rifles and, and, and whatnot. Rifles. Um, so that, that's pretty much what you see. There are There is an ornately designed pistol, uh, sort of towards the end, but um, 
I mean, it just depends on what kind of gun you want because they have tons of different pistols and they have rifles. Um, specifically, like a hunting rifle, a revolver. I don't know. Jay's Jay's not really a oh six shooter revolver. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take a six shooter. Why not? Okay. Epic. I um, mean, also the ornate one. I'll take the ornate one as well. I'm just like <laughs> holster okay. it. I'll let you know what that is later. Do I have anything that can blow things? <laughs> Holy shit, yes! <laughs> we are now There's, terrorizing dude, they, this di place. Dynamite? They've got dynamite in D&D, &D, baby. Just for this. dynamite in this room? Uh, <laughs> with that, so in, with that investigation check, no. I'm, okay. I'm no, not, not that you can find. Of what's happening anymore. I'm just, I, you know, I knew when Eden said, don't cause a scene, I, I knew that just saying that wasn't enough. Like, <laughs> <laughs> to uh, be fair, a large scale scene still hasn't totally, well, actually, we did immediately. Fuck. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. yeah, just, yeah. No, it seems, it seems been caused. All I'm right. not going to blow anything up anyways. Uh, I'm just going to grab the revolver and a tail chip. Uh, you're able to catch up with the chip quite easily as chip you're walking down the hallway looking for. Uh, there's some of these, these doors have like name plates. Um, and there are a few, uh, like captain nameplates mm -hmm. or like offices. And then you get down to what seems to be four doors on one of the outer walls that get their own kind of like section of like right. the still follows the shape of the building. And this, just by inspecting one of the doors, these are the offices for the four vice admirals. Okay. And Jay, once you catch up, I mean, one of these doors has your father's name on it. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes I sense. Want, as we're as we're walking, I, I can see that Jay is following us, right? Yes. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um. Is there anyone else in these rooms? So, like, could I talk to Jay quickly without people noticing, other than uh, Cedric? Yeah, I mean, like the the one like dwarven kind of soldier walked past you, but other than that, okay. it's pretty <clears throat> light here. There's not many. Not many people on the third level. It's mostly offices. All right, he's got to be around here somewhere. Hey, Jay, what are we, uh, what are we looking for again? <laughs> We're looking for plans for right. Giant level. Yeah. Right. All right. Plans. I thought it was a big thing, but it's just plans. There's not like no, a. No, it's plans for the plans for the big thing. So we're not blowing anything up. No. Damn. Okay. Actually, Eden Eden expressly asked us not to make a scene. <laughs> For real? I don't know what's going on here, but oh. um, I why do I need to be involved? Listen, I, I honestly I just needed someone That's who knew question, where to go. Kid. But look, you seem like a nice kid. I, I um, I'll undisguise my face so he can see my actual face, but I'll keep the rest of my body normal. You seem like a nice kid. You don't belong in a place like this. He just points towards the second to the left door mm -hmm. um that one's the only vice admiral that over that, that uh what's on the, what, that's what's here the name plate? Uh, appreciate it you walk up and you look at the nameplate but before that he says i i'm not gonna tell anyone but only because you look like captain ava baron you get that a lot She's why I joined the Navy, you know. Did you know her? Wait, yeah, did you know? She's my sister. I'm, I met her when I was younger. She inspired me to join the Navy. It's a, it was a unique disposition that made me want to join instead of trying. Um, look, I know there's some weird stuff going on around here, and I just... I don't really want to be a criminal, but I want to help, so... If if you're with, if you're related to Captain Farron, I I I bet what you're doing is right. I I I would think so. I just I don't want to be here anymore. As far as Navy goes, you couldn't have chosen a better hero. But yeah, you shouldn't be here. <laughs> Chip, you should let this kid go. Jay, come on. I'm already I've already missed one of my classes, so um, I'm just gonna. What, what do you are you, what are your real names? Uh, I'm Chip. Jay. She's, yeah, she's actually Jay. That wasn't a lie. 
I do most of the lying around here. So you... <laughs> so you are pirates. Yeah. Kinda. Yes. Yes. We are. Uh... Only by circumstance. Look, you can go. <laughs> That's perfectly fine, but... You could come with us, too, if you've always wanted to serve under a Captain Farron. There's a spot on the ship for you. I can persuade him. <laughs> You're really looking for that persuasion roll. You're fishing for it. Uh, You're I fishing mean, for it. You can, you can roll persuasion, but it's a high DC because of this this, this character has, like, you know. Okay. <laughs> let, hey, let's let the dice decide. No, I mean, I... the character has his own ideals, so, like. Yeah, the... yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. With can just change his mind his whatever. whole life he's been on the same mindset forever and just persuade and check him right but like, if he's okay if he's trying to go under a captain farron maybe he might that's not what know. he's been saying but yeah okay i understand he says that ava is like his inspiration you can roll persuasion and i'll say it might not have the effect you want as i'm saying that's okay i just want to try 24. uh he looks more relaxed whenever you talk to him now being more uh, upfront or transparent, literally, <laughs> without the disguise self. I want to do what Ava wanted to do and do it through the Navy because I, I'm sorry, I just don't, I'm too scared of the, uh, the lawlessness of, hey, of what look, the, how the pirates work. Not uh, for any, not for everybody. Okay. It's fine. Just, uh. I Look. like the order this place provides. I just I want it to be done right. Whenever I'm out of out of being a rookie, I think. Hey, yeah, maybe you can change it. But Look, Cedric, some stuff's going to come up here in the uh not so distant future. And it's going to get ugly. Oh, get to your class. Hey, well, kid, don't let them take those ideals away from you. I'll try. Sorry if you get arrested. Yeah, yeah we'll, we won't. Happens. <laughs> um, and he starts to to, to hurriedly walk away. We'll just away. get executed, actually. Looking at the name plates of the doors, uh, mm -hmm. the one he pointed to is named Cuba Quinta, mm -hmm. Vice Admiral Cuba Quinta. Cuba the other Quinta. ones are, if you do, you want to look at the other ones as well. I mean, um, one of them is obviously Jason Farron, which is yeah. Cuba. Uh, so there's four doors. The second one on the left is Cuba Quinta. Uh, the one on the left of that is Taylor Farron. The one on the right of Kuba Kinta uh, is Jason Farron. The one on the right of Jason is Gray Farron. So many Farrens. So many Farrens. Holy shit. Anyways, um, hey, hey, Chip, can you lend me your 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 tools? I need to pick a lock here. Which tools? Oh, thieves' tools. Yeah, here you go. It, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to pick the lock to my father's office. What, what are you doing? Yeah, you're just not proficient, so. Yeah, that's Why don't you just ask me to tell you? I am proficient. It, it's just a dexterity check, unless you're proficient. I, I am proficient. Then it's a dex check plus your proficiency. I thought it was sleight of hand. Nope. Nope, that's only for uh, you. Oh. That's 16. You, you sure you want to go in there, though? Yeah, it'll be fine. You might see some stuff, and it'll make you sad, and... We're kind of on a mission well, here. I mean, you know, maybe I might want to find some stuff. You can, you, never know. you can hear talking behind oh. the door of Vice oh, Admiral okay. Kinta. Um, um, you can unlock the door pretty easily to your father's office. I, I pee, uh, yeah, I, I unlock it and I like inch it open. Can I arcana check to make sure there's no like- You can roll alarms. an arcana check. <laughs> That's an 18. Any 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 magical alarms of sorts here? Yes, yeah, absolutely. As soon as you start to inch the door open, you get the sense of uh, the arcane energy that is sort of almost like stitching the door together. And if you were to open it anymore, you would break the strings that would cause the alarm. What are you doing? Okay, maybe I don't go any. What, what are you doing? I, open the door. I relock it. No, there's an alarm. Okay, well, how are we supposed to get the plans? I don't know. I guess continue your ruse and talk to the vice admiral. I don't know. That one's only gotten me so far. I'm roll, uh, well, <laughs> roll, roll investigation. Yep. Okay. Eight. Killing it with the dice over here. Going crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's been a, it's been a rough day Killing for us, it. us dicers. 
Yeah, I mean, you don't really see anywhere else to enter just from looking around. You don't, I mean, you don't look, you don't look too hard, and so you only see the door. <laughs> Maybe we can, like, eavesdrop? We hear what he's talking sure, about? Sure, why not? I put my ear up to the door. <laughs> okay, roll perception. I am typically good at this. 13. Not today. Dude, not today. What is going on not today, on boys? this day. What's going on? I don't know. I can't really assist get you it, in get perceiving. Get the bad, get the bad fucking smoke out of the studio, boys. Let's get this. There's a bad smog smoke. resting. Same as same as Gillian. You're only able to hear broken, a broken God sentence. Damn it! Because of the muffled nature of, of listening through the the door, you hear huge ruckus. Huge ruckus. I'm handling it. He. Oh, I, I guess I'll yeah. do his voice. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Who's ruckus? I'm handling it. Good stuff, dude. <laughs> That's the. <laughs> <laughs> That's the muffled. I'm trying to give you. I'm trying to immerse you. Hmm. <laughs> Do you hear? I'm hearing. He's saying, mm, 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 mm. "Evil people say that." Maybe he's got a plan. Developments in production. Developments in production. Argo's progress. Argo's product in progress. Yeah. Well, would you move? It keeps cutting out. Hmm. We're lagging. Are we? No, no. It's the dude on the other side of the oh, door is lagging. lagging. Oh, we're <laughs> lagging. And then he gets like a little bit like louder, as if he's kind of frustrated. Why am I just being informed? Like he, like he's like really loud now. Only a month left. That's the last thing you got. <laughs> okay. Something about solstice stronghold. Solstice. I think the word was solstice. That's what I heard. He, he had an accent. It was a little hard to understand, but I got solstice stronghold out of okay. it. Okay. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, that's where they're that's where they're producing the thing. Oh, I assume. I thought that was like his horse. Or maybe they're. Oh, maybe. You want to go in and ask? <laughs> what? Oh, as the guy? I guess I can. <laughs> that's. <laughs> That was a joke. Don't do that. Or maybe do. I don't know. We still need Last thing. hands. We can't One more cell check for you guys. Oh, oh, easy. Easy peasy. It's within an hour still, right? If yeah. it isn't, I'm going uh, to refresh know. my thing. Fuck! Why do I say things? Oh, dude, One second. No! One second. Wow! He's, no, no. Shh, shh, shh. If my pass without a trace is still active, right? If it isn't, I would have refreshed it while I'm still in here. Yeah, it is. I don't know anything. Okay. Then plus 10 to let. What? For shit. real? Yeah. You spoil me, Jay Farron. Dude, that went from a fucking two to a twenty-one real quick. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's twenty-seven for me. Twenty-one. Yeah, you guys. Uh, you guys. All right. Continue on with what you're saying. Okay. Well, up to you if you want to go in there, but there's a good chance you get caught. I know that. The, the vice admirals aren't stupid. I don't know if you remember well, what my dad was like. Kind of stupid, <laughs> but like, not that stupid. Okay. Well. This guy's kind of a hothead, but he well, wants the information. We have to get it. Yeah, well, okay. I they say they have a month left, and that they moved the production over to Solstice Stronghold. Jay, she already thinks I'm an idiot. But I need to get this. What is your goal here? What's, my goal is to get this stuff. What is your goal? Stop, stop trying to have sex. I'm not trying to have sex. Gillian, sister. I'm not trying. I'm not trying. What is your problem? I that's, just, really, that's your go get I, I just don't want to look stupid. Okay? I don't believe you. Well, to be, to be frank. Whatever. You don't have to believe me. But we have to get the plans. I don't know what, I, what, I, what the Leviathan thing is, but it sounds bad. I'm pretty sure we just need everything. Okay, if you want to go in, I'm going to get out of here, though. <laughs> Jay is right. This is pretty much what you need. <laughs> I would say. I would say so. Like, we were just in here for information. I'm only telling you because I know that you've been confused about what you're doing here the entire time. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure we don't need anything else? 
<laughs> we don't need any folders. We just needed info. Okay. She asked us expressly okay. to find the location of where they're building Sweet. the Leviathan. Can we set the place on fire? Take some fucking notes. Don't Jay, Jay, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no. Please. No. No. Why not? What? You can certainly try. You. I guess you can try. I'm getting out. Of, no, Jay. I'm please. I'm not gonna stay around. Let me set it on fire. How the fuck would we set it on fire? I hold out Gillian's little oil flask. That's not enough oil to set this we place set on fire. We <laughs> just find a very flammable area. This place is like. I thought this entire like level was made of stone it's, of some it's, sort. No, no, no. It's a mix of very thick, almost antique-like, or antique-crafted, in a way. Mm -hmm. Very thick, dark, rich wood uh, mixed with black wow. steel. Um, lots of black steel for support. There's concrete on like the ground and stuff, uh, or or white concrete, I guess. Do they have a Do they have a sprinkler system here <laughs> for fires? Yeah. No, I mean you don't see any sprinklers. I okay. am the sprinkler system, and I'm not helping. <laughs> How am I supposed to help with I that? I don't know. Fine. Help me find a flammable place. Okay. Well, there's an armory there. Maybe there's gunpowder. We can oh. be zero. <laughs> You're right. Why did I say that? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> this is a bad idea. Okay. We're going to go in the armory. What was the arcana check you rolled? Okay. Uh, my arcana check was 18. All right. Gotcha. Um, you guys go back to the armory that Jay leads you to, and, uh, <laughs> with the goals to set the I've place made, on fire, I've question mark. Terrible, terrible. <laughs> I, I, I'd like to remind you again, Eden said don't cause a scene. We already caused a scene. Let's at least fuck some shit mean? up. Oh my god. Killian. <laughs> Killian? In amidst, amidst <laughs> this chaos, the soldiers you are in the room with are panicking and have been trying to... To, to apprehend you and fight you, we you are going to be starting an initiative order. However, most of it is just like, find the monster! <laughs> Get us out of here! I the door is frozen! Contact the admirals! <laughs> All of the cold shells are broken! <laughs> Tell me your secrets! I will say, um, I'll give you one thing to say um, before you roll initiative. <laughs> Somebody call for help! We're in here! We're trapped in here with a monster! <laughs> beast! Um, it talks! It keeps saying destiny! Okay, I, I, I put on the fucking dread helm, drop yes. the fog cloud, materialize in front of him with red eyes and say, fish time! <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Oh, that builds up for that. Okay. Wow. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> and uh, with that, starting next episode... We will see Jay and Chips attempt to blow up the fucking the the, the headquarters. I guess they're gonna try and set it on fire. <laughs> Meanwhile, Gillian trapped in his own room with four Navy soldiers and attempts to interrogate and find out all of their secrets. Remember Should when that he was survive? the craziest thing happening? <laughs> Should he survive the encounter with four oh, Navy soldiers oh by himself? God. I have some funky theory. I have a funky theory. We will talk about it next time on yeah. Just Roll With It. This session is over. <laughs> we will talk about it on Just Rolled With It, the show after the show, right now. Bye. Bye. Fish time. Fish time. Look at this weird face I can make. Yo, I just wanted to thank our $50 patrons for the day. Your personal gesture, Cade6 deserved better. Sleepy Wither, Mr. Nacho, Wild James, Recat, Kev Senpai, The Letter 7, Finrua, Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear 417, Juzombo, Brilliant Fried Strider, Bosco, Record Zin, Artemis Loves You, Definitely Not a Turtle, Everett Stoker, Probins, Netven, Race Ristau, Scarab 5, Sandy 007, Ben Manny, Cheshire, Kaya, Blue Blem Blop, Bowling Ball Iron, Zerberus, Bits of Small, Alyssa, Dream Strider, Lord Ticklefish, Spinyax, Buttery Toast, Raytheon, Expoogaloo, Material Seaweed, Gillian's Biggest Fan, Reshi Snivy, Corner Comet, Jumpiest Venus 34, 
your gal pal Valerie V, Riker Kurotu, Nongzolotl, Salutation, JRWI Enjoyer, and Jay Newell. Thank you guys so much for supporting the podcast as much as you do. It really means a ton. And we will see you next week.